All right, everybody, welcome to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Brent James with me. Brent, this is the game we've been waiting on all year. That's exactly right. <laughs> this is what it comes down to, the region championship. You know, both teams come in undefeated in the region. Charlton, uh, they're ranked number six or seventh uh, with a six and two record. Panthers, eight and one, come in ranked number two. Uh, you know, and you look at the, you know, Pierce has, uh, Charlton's lost to Pierce County. And I forget the team out of Florida they played. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yuli, maybe? Yeah, Yuli, I think yeah. you're right. Uh, that's their two losses. Uh, a bunch of common opponents in the region. Uh, one thing, now Charlton has to play next Friday. Yeah, Clincher will be open. Right. Charlton has to travel to Lanier. Lanier. And if Lanier was to win tonight, and beat Charlton next week, and if the Panthers beat Charlton, that could move Lanier to That's second two. place yeah. in the region. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of things going on tonight. Uh, so I guess uh, is Lanier off tonight. I think so. I, I, they may be. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, you know, people, they y'all, played Turner last week. There we go. Daniel's got the camera up now. He's got the back. <laughs> That's the best looking part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, there's going to be a crowd here tonight, man. Uh, a lot of a lot of talk going on during the week for well leading up to this game you know right. everybody uh, after the game on friday night well me and you always said well, what's charlton doing right. what's the score yeah. to because we knew in the and the indians come in they've beaten the panthers two years in a yeah. row now and so. it's always a big rivalry you know whether the region championships on the line or or you know we're both the same record or you know it doesn't matter this that's is a rivalry that's that's it's going to be a good game the swamp war it's always the same. it used to kick off the season now it's ending the season right. it doesn't matter when you play it that's it's right. the swamp war and, and i want to remind everybody to hang around at halftime because i got my buddy jamie hendrix will be up in the stand and we're going to get him on the phone and he's going to kind of see if uh him and bill's gonna see if they see the same thing me and you do you know if uh what what uh, the panthers need good. to adjust on uh uh to pull out a win but uh i thought you were about to say he was gonna uh blast off some fireworks here that, no, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me wouldn't say he stopped on the way and they got that johnny cash special <laughs> and and that uh mississippi mud pie and of course, they're waiting on the hot dogs and hamburgers <laughs> to get ready at the concession. Yeah. So, uh, but y'all don't go nowhere. We're going to play a couple of commercials and come back. Me and Brent right here on live on Creek Box. We'll be right back. And this is Kid Dean, sales manager at Walker Jones Honda. Today, we're looking at the 22 Passport. Just inviting all of y'all out to come check out our inventory. And then I'm walking Walker Jones. Right now at Walker Jones Honda, new 22s are in stock and ready to roll. Like this new 22 Honda Passport Trail Sport all-wheel drive in stunning sonic gray pearl. Her 3.5 liter engine has power to spare. It still gets 24 MPG on the highway. Come on down to Walker Jones Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Lifetime Honda, the power of dreams. Walker Jones Honda, Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneshonda.com. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance, our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. 
Ridge Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. You're watching Creek Box TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. 
Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salad, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. Hey everyone, this is Kid Dean, sales manager at Walker Jones Honda. Today we're looking at the 22 Passport, just inviting all of y'all out to come check out our inventory. Man, I'm walking Walker Jones! Right now at Walker Jones Honda, new 22s are in stock and ready to roll. Like this new 22 Honda Passport Transport all-wheel drive in stunning sonic gray pearl. Her 3.5 liter engine has power to spare and still gets 24 MPG on the highway. Come on down to Walker Jones Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Lifetime Honda, the power of dreams. Walker Jones Honda, Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneshonda.com. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance, our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 
470-2359 to learn more. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Brent James in. Exciting, this is for the region 2A champion here in South Georgia to represent the, the winner will at least get two home games. Brent, That's it right. could be three, quarter flip, could be four. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, talking about that, uh, the top ten, you got the top ten rankings. What do they look like I this do. week? Uh, Alan, uh, looks like we got Bowden, uh, number one. They're seven and one. Uh -huh. Of course, we mentioned earlier, Clinch uh, is number two with an eight and one record. Uh, Coming in third is Johnson County. They're 8-0. Uh, yeah, they're the only undefeated that's team, right. I think, left in Division that's, Two. That's exactly right. And then we have uh, Schley County, number four. Early County, number five, with a 7-2 and two record. Charlton, as we mentioned, is number six with a 5-2 and two record. McIntosh County Academy is uh, seventh with an 8-1 and one record. Lincoln County is, is number uh, eight with a 5-6-2 and six and two record. I'm sorry. And Manchester is at nine with a five and three record. And then I got you. Um, Washington Wilkes is next. Uh, they're actually tied for 10th with ECI. Yeah, and ECI's record looks bad, yeah. but they have played Scriven. Uh, they played Dublin. Yeah. I mean, they played a like the schedule the Panthers had last, last year. year. So, yeah. I mean, do not. Right. Don't say because they've lost four games right. that, you know, they're not that good. They're going to be very good come yeah. playoff time. Then we have Christian Heritage, number 12, and Wilcox uh, at 5-3 and three is 13th. That's right. Man, that's, you know, and you can, any one of them capable of getting on a run and Absolutely. and going all the way to finals. Uh, uh, man, we got to give a shout-out to girls softball. They went up and they won their first game, uh, and uh, I think they ended up getting uh, – Getting eliminated, losing two games to some very good teams. That's right. Wilcox, uh, I think, won the overall uh, tournament there. And I heard earlier that Lanier County actually is playing in state championship tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Did they beat ECI today? Yes, it went nine innings. Nine innings. Mm -hmm. So, man, it come out. on, Lanier County. Yeah. We want to see them do good. Uh, That's right. So, win and represent Region 2A. That's exactly right. They've been on the cusp of, of I know they've been in the Columbus for the uh, final eight the last couple of years. So uh -huh. It's good to see them. Man, we had a text uh, come in and says, hello, Mr. Allen. We're looking forward to the Panthers coming to town Friday. And if you want some good southern barbecue, stop by Dapp's Kitchen and Grill off the 6th Street. They have the best in town. Their tender ribs and pulled pork are like no other. Tell Jackie and Buck that Chanel sent you. All right, look them up, man, on Facebook. Y'all here, that's Daps. We got that after, you know, I asked Jamie. We had a little promo this week. Jamie, what the, the – everybody wants to know where the Hendrick brothers eat at. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when Jamie did that, a lot of people seen that, and they said, well, man, tell them to come stop over okay, here and yeah. there, man. Y'all do. We appreciate the text information. And if y'all are headed this way and got a little bit of time, stop by Dat's Kitchen. All right. It's a uh, kitchen grill off the off of 6th Street. So uh, gotcha. y'all do that. Uh, Brent, we got a lot of people going to be viewing tonight. And if y'all have some scores, man, y'all please keep us updated. That's right. We got uh, Marvin Ganey's tuning in already. And, uh, Big Marvin, another great football player. Man, I played with him, Marvin. He could go now. He's watching from Valdosta. All right, Marvin. He's pulling for number nine. Uh, Ganey with us. So yeah. uh, that's uh, he's one of one of that long line yeah, of Ganey players. A, yeah. that's been excellent Panther players over the years. I think it's been 30 years in a row we've had a Ganey on the that's field exactly somewhere. Right. <laughs> Uh, Joy Rich is tuned in. Hello from Irwin. Next Friday night, Irwin could set a state record in all classifications with six straight region championships. Well, they've had some good teams in six years. Sure you can believe they've had some good teams a lot longer. But, uh, man, that was a great win they got last Friday over in Brooks. Brooks a yeah. big win. Pulled it pulled away right there at the end, from what I understand. Yeah, man, a great game. And it wouldn't surprise me if them two don't meet up down oh, the absolutely. line. Absolutely. Very uh, possible. Uh, you know, to represent uh, Class A in the upper division, I, I think the upper division in Class A – it's probably more competitive than 
double A and triple A, right yep. up there with triple A. There's yep. some good teams in that upper division. That's exactly right. Uh, we got Russell Zirkel says, I'm not there to scream. Let's go Panthers tonight. But let's go, Panthers. <laughs> well, Brent, we, we're getting ready for the kickoff. Man, what's the keys to either team winning tonight? Well, it's sort of a cliche, but uh, turnovers, I think, is yeah. going to be the, the key. Uh, either way, penalties uh, also tend to come into play and in a big game like, like this. Well, so, last year, you know, it was a missed extra point in exactly overtime. Right. And yep. then at 35-34. Yep. I, uh, I think uh, – all right, if I remember correctly, a running back was the holder. And yeah, and got hurt. Got hurt. And they had to sub the holder right. in, and, and, and it kind of bobbled. The, that's exactly right. And, uh, and missed the extra point. That was the difference in the games, and that was the difference Panthers making the playoffs and the Indians making mm -hmm. it. That's right. So uh, Special teams is another area that probably be critical tonight. Well, one thing about it, it's going to be packed tonight. They're all in the parking lot. Everybody's getting jammed in. They were showing up here at 430. <laughs> so <bet> you. <laughs> everybody's excited to get the Swamp War under the way, and the series come in. They're tied. 30 victories for the Panthers and 30 victories for the Indians. And I so, think one, maybe one tie. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, this will uh, – Panthers run off four or five in a row. I think the Indians back in the – Late 90s, early 2000s, won seven That's or eight right. in a row when mm -hmm. they had them great teams right. when they were in double A. So, uh, you know, That's it's been right. back and forth, back and forth. So, uh, and don't expect nothing different tonight. Man, we got some sad news. Uh, I just found out right before you come up, uh, uh, the, you know, you got the Swamp War tomorrow down in, in Jacksonville, right. the Gator Bowl. <laughs> so, uh, of yeah. course, you know, the Vince Dooley passing away this afternoon. Yep. Uh, I think any chance the Gators might have had, might, boy, that's going to jack them <laughs> Bulldogs up. They'll be playing for Dooley tomorrow. <laughs> I guarantee you it'll be, it'll be brought up for sure. Yeah, but, man. Yeah, uh, that's one thing. Dooley could beat the Gators, brother. Yeah. He, uh, I, I don't know what his record was, but it was way yeah. more than what he lost. You can believe it's that. Certainly, yeah. Uh, a legend in Georgia athletics and especially Georgia football. Uh, you know, him, and what was he, 91, I think, when he 90, passed? 90, I think, yeah. 90, 90, 91. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, y'all keep uh, your thought and prayers with the Dooley family. I remember, uh, actually, uh, he stopped by. I don't remember. It's been Yeah, I, I was direct years. director. When Glory? he came by the yeah, Methodist Church. Right, live, Club yeah, meeting. man, I enjoyed Did that. A book he, signing. Yeah. And, uh, just to nice fella and get Just, right in man and i love to listen to the stories he could tell some he good could. stories He's, big frankie said it's time to bring the big bowl of ice cream out for the swamp ward baby <laughs> all right frankie don't get too full and go to sleep and doze That's off right. on us. don't miss it frankie no because at halftime now we're going to check in with uh with the hendrix brothers and uh they're on the 50 yard line so we're going to check in and see if they see kind of the same thing me and brent will see in the first half uh we're going to step back out and run a few more ads and come back for the national anthem and get ready for the Swamp War. We'll be right back. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. We look forward to seeing you. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. 
So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. All right, everybody, welcome to Creekbox TV. Well, we got Stephen and Vonda Hendricks watching. All right, y'all stick around, Stephen. We got your brothers. They're gonna they're gonna let us know what's going on at halftime. <laughs> hey, I know I didn't get no doggy bag. <laughs> hey, there wasn't nothing left uh, of well, that Johnny like Cash special. You can believe that. <laughs> got big Benny White watching tonight. All right, so Benny. Queens. Sammy Relliford. Renee and Graham Bridges watching from Lakeland. Let's go, Panthers. Appreciate you tuning in. You know, we're sitting here talking, and uh, look, man, Charlton's got a good-looking team. They look good. They got a lot of players, too. Uh, uh, Brent, we going down. They were out of programs, and we went through and got the roster. They got big 73, Colin Lloyd, 299, 235, 273, 215. 188, 185, 175. You know they're they're pretty big. Yeah. Kind of like the Panthers, but they got a good running back. Mm -hmm. They're gonna stick it in and try to run between the tackles against the Panthers. Is he a senior running back? Or? Yeah, got to be man. He he's beaten the Panthers for the last two years, yeah. and it's. Uh, and then uh, they've got a heavily recruited defensive end. Is that number nine? Probably is it the. That's the uh, that Williams sophomore. kid. No, yeah, he's just sophomore. He's a basketball yeah. player. He's Six, gonna eight. be good. Yeah. yeah. Charlton Band done an excellent job with the national anthem. Chad Williford tuning in. Roll red roll. Man, we got some good games around. You got Valosta and uh, Cockrell County. You know yeah. that's gonna be for the region. Uh, in Valosta. In Valosta. That's right. The Panthers will be decked out in all white uniforms tonight. Charlton County will have their black uniforms on with black helmets. Big 65 is a captain, and that is James Lovett, along with number six, Jay Harris. 
And then you see the seniors coming out behind them. So it must be senior night yeah, here yeah. tonight, Brent. Wow, they got quite a few seniors, it looks like. Keegan Clayton for the Panthers, along with Marvin Ganey, 65, Elijah Cobb, and number 19 for the Panthers, that is Danny Fountain. That's the camp captains for, from Clinch County. Uh, it's Charlton, they're still coming in. Miss Dolly Leaf. Dolly. In from yeah. DuPont, Georgia. Yes, sir. Her and Big K holding down DuPont. There you go. Mir Clarkson. Let's go clinch. Snazzy Collins. Let's go clinch. Dollar Bill checking in. All right. Panthers Nation. Dollar Bill. And there comes some of the Panthers in late. Having to stand in line. That good crowd. That big Sean so quick draw McCall. McCall. Popcorn. Wade Spivey. And we'll get a good shot of the Hendricks. They got them black shirts on. They're going to look like a black hole. Very <laughs> 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 got to focus. <laughs> like midnight. Brad said it looked like an eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Ellis is tuned in from St. Augustine. All right, Danny, we appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Curtis Reed, uh, Terry on Williams, and Crystal Wood. Let's go Panthers. Appreciate y'all turning tuning in tonight. When you hear the tomahawk chop, brother. They have been playing it since six o'clock. <laughs> Uh. We're getting ready for the Region 2A Championship here in football against the Clinch County Panthers and the Charlton County Indians. Well, Brenda, the old saying goes, if you can't get up for this one, you might as well get out. That's exactly right. This is for all the marbles. Uh, you know, you played all season to get. This is the last regular season game for the Panthers. Uh, hope to have all the mistakes played out That's by right. this time. Yep. And the Panthers have, man. They have gotten better and better, especially since they fell down early to Cook County and, and made battle a back. battle back in the third. You know, the first three or four games, it was rain. Mm -hmm. Just, but the Panthers have opened it up more offensively in the last three or four Games coach Dalton has shown l little pieces that's of, right. of every. That's right. Yep. So I think tonight he's liable to open the thing up wide open and uh, just uh, put it all out there. You know, at the beginning of the season every year, you always say, you know, the first uh, thing you want to do is win the region. That's right. So uh, we have that before us tonight. That's right. You can take care of that and put that in the bag right that's now. Right. The Panthers will be receiving. So uh, the offense will be on the field first. And I'm sure that they're going to know, Charlton will know where Bale's lined up every play. Yep. I'm interested to see how they're going to line up, if they're going to put two safeties in the middle of the field or, uh, you know, with me, which it opens up the running game, I would put somebody in his face and give him help deep, mm -hmm. especially with Bale's speed. But and I'm sure they'll try to shadow uh, Clayton as that's much right. as possible as well. And the good thing the Panthers have done, they have been passing the ball around, right. just not to Bale. Yeah. So uh, we're probably as balanced this year as, as we've, we've been, been in a long, long time. time. So that's a good thing. All right, here we go. The Indians will kick off. And, boy, he got a good sure one, too, did. Brent, all the way down to four-yard line, and Bale has it. He's going to touch it out to the 25, out to the 30, 35, 40. He's going to cut back. Great return by Bale all the way down to the 42-yard line. It's a good start. That is. There's number nine you were yeah. talking about, Brent. <laughs> Boy, it's six foot eight. <laughs> He's he being heavily recruited by all the Division One teams. I was going to see if the Indians will have a nose guard. Looks like they will. They're going to get in a 50. Panthers are going to run a spread. They'll have the three fullbacks in. Clayton at quarterback. 
Clayton will take it. He's going to run to the right side hard, licking there, but he'll pick up maybe a yard or two. Number two, Brent, that is Jalen Lillian on the stop. And number six made a great play, Jay Harris for the Indians. Panthers have it now, second and eight. Indians stay in a 50, Panthers in a spread. Gonna change the play, Clayton uh, Robbins is spread out over to the right. Bale up top. He's looking it. at Bale too, going he's going, deep. that's it Brent, he got a step. For a second. Oh got, man, I thought oh, he wow. got into him, no call. Let's see right here on the replay. It looked like he got in there a little early. Ooh, oh, boy, man. boy, that's little, close. Mm. Bell was trying to adjust to yeah. the pass. Usually that's an automatic flag. Yeah. Pass was a little short. And mm, so that's going to bring up third and eight for the Panthers. So that'll – Panthers win early, so they – the Indians will know they're going to go deep. Yep. Trying to soften that defense up a little bit early. You can look, the Indians really don't have nobody. They got eight in the box, Brent. They're more worried about the run than they are the pass. Big man got him back, and he's going to lose seven, eight yards. We got a flag. Let's see if it's a face mask here, Brent. Did he get a piece of – yeah, he did. Yep. yep. He come by and hooked it. The big guy did, number nine. Barely did get it. That's uh, that's going to be a, a makeup call. <laughs> oh, it's just a, a five yard penalty, though. He said it was five yards, so it's still going to be fourth down, Brent. And they'll at spot. Get to... Will they spot that where the sack occurred or from the line of scrimmage? We at least ought to get the third down over. Yeah. Mm hmm. You know, back in the day when we played, face masks 15 yeah, yards. Did, they yeah. didn't. Wasn't an option. That's right. I tell you, uh, Charlton, they're not worried about the pass early. They got everybody bunched up at the line. They got Robbins locked down man-to-man -man down here on the bottom, Brent. So the Panthers will play. It's third and 13 now. They're in a pistol formation. There's a snap. Ooh, Looking. They got a rush. Hard. You got to get rid of it. He's nowhere to go, and they'll have him wrapped up behind the line. Two, four, five, six Indians on that sack, Brent. They just bled through the line. I'll tell you what, six Ooh, is coming hard. He's coming hard every play. Who is that, Brent? Jay Harris. So the Panther offensive line will trot to the sideline. Clayton had nothing to do. Sure didn't. Who's the Panthers have punting? It's going to be Zaniga. Yeah, he has done a great job the last two, three games he's been in. Fourth and 25 for the Panthers now. There's a snap. Oh, the Panthers oh, are going to put it on the dirt. Nowhere to go. They're going to pick it up, scoop score. and score by the Indians. Boy, that quick. Man. Brent, we talked about it, turnovers, mm -hmm. penalties and turnovers. Yep, special team. And the Indians right now are 3-0 and in them three categories, and they're going to take a 6 to nothing lead here with two minutes and one second into the game. And the cameras didn't go out. They cut the lights on and off. <laughs> it got loud out here quick. Extra point is up. Number 95, Garrett Stevenson will try the extra point. And it's right down the middle. So the Indians take a seven to nothing lead early in the first. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. 
whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies. Camping World of Valosity can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Here come the Indians to kick off to the Panthers after taking a 7 to nothing lead. Brent, there's Bale with it again. He had a good return last time. This yep. time, he's going to get out to what, about the 27? Well, the first turnovers cost the Panthers seven. Yep. That was. And Charlton, man, they're not. They're just lining everybody in the box, and they they're are. bringing the house every yeah. play. Uh, they look extremely fast. They do. Number six, number nine's coming. 69, that whole front. Mm hmm All right, Panthers empty now. Clayton, the only back in the backfield. Going to fake the little jet sweep. There's a good run by Clayton up the middle. He'll pick up six, seven yards. He's going to be brought down by number two for the Indians, Brent. Yep, that would be Jalen Lilly. Got a quick score here. Um, Dodge eight, Barion seven. All right, good game. All right, second, no, Panthers got a first down, first and 10. Panthers staying an empty. They're gonna run the same play back to the right. This time, number three's having none of it. He'll meet him about the line of scrimmage. That's Kyler Williams for Charlton, number three. Mm. But like Corbett, I don't know if it was his knee brace. It might have been. He took that thing off and threw it in the backfield. He's had enough of that. They said he got three, though, Brent. Got more than I thought. Oh, they got somebody walked right up in Bale's face up top, Brent. Mm-hmm. Clayton looking over the defense. He can bring 10 in motion. They're going to hand it this oh, time man, to Trap. No, Nothing to go. to go. Nowhere. He's going to lose a yard. Number three again, Brent, which you could say number three, but they were three or yeah. four of them hit him at the line. Big 65 in there for the Indians. That is James Lovett. Along with 69, Xavion Jackson. Third and eight. Third and eight. Passing down for the Panthers. Indians are up on their feet. Getting loud. You see the student section. Two, four, five. Indians are going to bring six this time. They're blocked. Panthers blocking with five. He got it off. Got him out got there. It. He's, He's got, got it. it. Touchdown. Bell all the way. That'll back <laughs> him up, Brent. Whoa, a 65 yard touchdown pass to Bell right down the middle. He's right in stride that time. He got by, say, well, he's been past yeah, him every time, right. just hadn't been able to get the ball off. So the Panthers answer back big. That was yeah. third and eight, yeah. Brent. Much better blocking there. Yeah, the, the line did a great job. Ganey picked up the end there. Got a good block on him, gave Clayton the time to get that pass down the field. Clayton got hit, but he had just the, just the right amount of time to get rid of. It. All right, extra point. We talked about special teams. Panthers need to match it. Robbins will snap it. Clayton will hold it. Joshua will kick it. High snap. Good job by Clayton. He got it down, and it's That's right good. down the middle. We got a game, Brent. That's right. 740 to play in the first. It's seven to seven. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. 
Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we... All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. We are all tied up seven apiece. Panthers kicking off. High went all the way down to the 27. Big 16 got the sideline. A good return for the Indians, Brent. I think our, like our end got kind of pulled inside there. And man, 16 kind of got around the edge. Joshua had been kicking it around inside the 10. I mm -hmm. guess they were trying to keep it away from one of the backs. That was J.J. Nelson for the Indians. He made one cut. You're right. The end sucked in, and That's when he right. did, it opened the outside. outside. He did. All right. This is the first time the offense has been on the field for the Indians. 7.34 to play in the first quarter. We're tied up seven apiece. Quick score. Cook seven. Fitzgerald zero. Mm, that's going to be a good game. Mm -hmm. Number 11 is the quarterback. Who is Jaylen that? Jalen King. King. King will take the snap. He's going to hand it off to number two. Bounces it out. Look out. 15 yards right off tackle. He can run it, Brent. He can. He's the leading rusher in the region. And not that. that's why right there. Yeah. We've seen it before when we played him. Man, he. what's his name? That is uh, Jalen Lilly. Lilly. King and Lilly in the backfield. King takes the snap, give it to Lily. Panthers had him, one move, look out, touchdown, Jordan. You might not nope. get him, nope. Right up, the Panthers looked like they were in shape to get him. One cut and he's gone, Brent. So the Indians offense takes the kick off and in two plays, they're back on top, 13 to seven. Wow. That drive took 28 seconds. <laughs> Brent, we're liable to be here all night if they keep scoring like this. Wow. Stevenson back on to try the extra point for the Indians. Thirteen seven, Charlton on top. Low snap, good job. Did Cook did, I think, Brent. I think there's a flag or was it all sides? False Ill start. Yeah, illegal, illegal procedure, so that'll back the Indians up five. Look, he missed it, didn't he? Yeah, he hooked it to the left. I, I don't guess you give him an option, too. I would have declined it, too, but apparently it happened. They blew the whistle before, before the attempt. Yeah. Uh, They'll try it again. So Stevenson will back up. That's going to make it about a 25-yard extra point. Good job by the holder. He got it down. There. Oh, oh missed off it. the upright. That could be huge, Brent. It sure could. That's going to leave it 13 to 7. Indians on top of the Panthers. Boys, we've seen score, a scoop and score, a run and a pass. <laughs> That's right. We'll probably have a punt and a kickoff return yeah. for it's over with, Brent. Been exciting thus far, for sure. And I'll let you catch up on some of the shout outs because we got a pile of people watching tonight. All right. We got uh, Junior watching from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, Beth Walton says, Go Panthers. Shout out to her granddaughter, Chloe Landrum. Uh, Jerome Sherrod said he saw Frankie on the porch Wednesday, and he said, tell everybody roll red roll, and ice cream is in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. He's ready for a region championship. Hey. Benny White's still with us. Good job. 
We got Jaden Reeves, let's go Panthers. And Danny Boy says, let's go Indians. That's right. We got Miss Ann and Smiley ready to roll with the Panthers. That's right. Well, King sent out a text for me and you. Yeah, I don't think he's calling the Valwood game tonight. No, he thought that was Lawton in front of us a while ago <laughs> on camera. I thought we had Lawton. So I don't uh, think Lawton's here. Indians with a high kick all the way back to the six. Here comes Bale again, trying to get outside. Good coverage by the Indians. A wrap him down. Got Morris and Laura Landrum with the grandson watching from home tonight. I want to give a shout out to the Panthers. Man, Eric ain't here tonight. My buddy Eric Harris. He's not? No. He's probably camping. Man, he is up in the mountains. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh. We have to get our hat. You, Eric, I know you're watching. Uh, tell Eric Lutz to send us the halftime stats now. <laughs> <laughs> now the weather chaser tuning in, watching from Big Daddy's. Oh, Go right. Panther. Good crowd up at Big Daddy's tonight, I'm sure. All right, here come the Panthers. That little trap. Mm, oh, man, he got hit there. right in the mouth. Jay Harris, number six, is quite a player. Number 40, that Chance Hendricks on the stop for the Indians. Got Ja'Cory and Marshall tuning in. Macy Jewell, go number 19 on the Panthers. Eloise Magby, let's go Panthers and shout out to Z Zahira Magby. Yes, a huge crowd here at Big Daddy. Well, the chaser did <laughs> confirm that, Alan. Got Lexi and Mama watching in DuPont, cheering on the Panthers. All right, there's that little, oh. he's going to fake it this time. He'll keep it. He's going to pick up about three, Brent. Yeah. We'll make it third and six now. Like a little more opening there on, on around the edge there, but he cut it upside and got a few. Uh, Irwin up 14 to 6. I'm not sure who they're playing. Telfair 7, Dooley 0. Pierce 7, Vidalia 0. Statesboro 7, Ware 3. Coffee 14, Greenbrier 0. All right. Panthers trying to get them to jump. Good job by the Indians to hold back. Clayton will change the play now. Number 6 walking up. Panthers going to fake oh, the jet. Man. Good job by Clayton, mm. but didn't have enough room. What's that right. going? Braden Thompson, I'm watching with my Aunt Lynn in the big city of Maynard, Georgia. All right, little B. Angie Purvis, roll red roll from Jonathan and Angie, Angela Talbert from Cuttings Loop. Jonas Gamble tuning in. Let's come on, Panthers. Tighten up. Eric Sutton's watching from DuPont. All right, we got DuPont, boy, the whole crowd. I think we're going to punt it, Alan. Yeah, boy, to see if the Panthers, uh, they fumbled the first punt. Scoop and score. Indians look like they're going to jam up the line again. Let's see if they come after it. They are. Right. Low snap. He bobbled it again. Mm -hmm. Got it off. Boy, number nine. Oh, my, he might have got a piece of that one, Brent. Whew. Man. Right at midfield, the Indians with that offense, boy, you don't want them to be at midfield. Special teams coming into play tonight for both teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cooling off. Weather Chase said there's some cool drafts coming in tonight. <laughs> I think he's talking about the weather. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Jaden Reeves, let's let go. We got this. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, King and Lily in the backfield. Lily's averaging what, about 20 yards a carry yeah. already, Brent? King looking over the offense. They're going to throw a little hitch out to number four. Panthers come up. Oh, they oh, had him. They're going to slip missed through. It. Look out. He's gone, Brent. Oh, good saving tackle by number 10 for the Panthers. Brown got him. But not before he got down about the eight-yard line, it looked like. Mm. They had him for a loss. They did. Just missed mm. tackles right there, Alan. Boy, Coach Chase, he ain't going to like that. Next, shout out to Allie Kite cheering on the sideline. 
Kyla Williams, so let's go number 17. Yeah, I want to remind y'all, y'all hang around at halftime. We're going to have Jamie Hendricks and Bill Hendricks. Give a shot. Here's Lily again. We'll see down to about the one. The Charlton line leaning on that yeah, Panther defensive are. line. We get to get in the backfield. And boy, Lily does a great, he can read how they block mm -hmm. one cut. King with a snap, they're going to give it to him again, and he just dances behind the line, and he's going to go in for a score. So the Indians trying to pull away now, Brent, 19 to 7. Panthers haven't been down since the Adel game. Yeah, you're right. It's going to so be interesting to see how that's we right. battle back here. Coach Dalton will get the offense on the sideline and say, hey, just you play four quarters. We all know it can turn around quickly. That's right. It was, you know, last year I think the Panthers fell down by three scores and mm -hmm. come back and had the game won and went to overtime. Uh, just a great game. Indians will not go for two. Stevenson will try another extra point. Snap, he'll put it down. There's a kick. Panthers got a piece of it, but it made it through the uprights. That'll make it Charlton 20, Panthers 7. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Brent, this is a big possession for the Panthers right here now. Panthers really need to uh, get you a good drive <laughs> going right here. You over here in the swamp, it's yeah. 19 or 20 to 7. Yeah. Uh, and the Panthers' defense hasn't done nothing against uh, Indian offense. Uh, it's just clicking right now. All the way. Here comes Bell back to the five. He's going to return it. 25, 31 yard line. Good return by Bell. Number one down on the tackle for the Indians. Come the Panther offensive line. Got a score here. Irwin 14, early six. That's going to be, boy, Irwin. That's going to be a good game. Yep. Mozzie Williams says, let's go Panthers, we good. Boy, a man, a Mozzie had a great game over here sure last did. year. Great game. He could tote that wood. Mm -hmm. All right, Clayton with the snap. Panthers empty set, he got to throw it. He got He's it off, got it him again. Got oh. him out there, go he Bell. 20, down to the 15. Oh man. Man, no flag, they ripped the helmet off. What a great bell caught it at the 40 and rumbled down to the 15. Oh, so Bell will have to come out for one play, save the Panthers again. <laughs> yeah. He's been open all night. He has. If they're going to play man to man, yeah. I mean, you got to like that opportunity. Eventually, how do you stop that? Mm. If you don't sack him, you got yeah. to have help across, right. over the top. Over the top. You're exactly right. Boy, that is a weapon to have. Yep. And they're staying man to man on him. All right, this is where them yards get tight down yep. here inside the 10. Charlton's going to load the box. They got big 69 in the game. Jackson, he's 280. Clayton looking over the defense. They're getting a play in. No back behind Clayton. Clayton. 
take the snap. He's going to look. Little trap up the middle. Clayton sticks it and rolling all the way down to about the three-yard line, it looks like, Brent, or the five. He's on the five. Yep. Can they get a first down, Brent? I didn't know if he was on the 11. Looks like he might. Yeah, the Panthers can get a first down here. We're not up as high burying them as high as they can get on the visitor's mm -hmm. side. Snap. Panthers going to run. No, Clayton will pull it. Good read. Did he get in? He got close. Boy, wow. that's some hard hitting going yeah. on down there. Did he get did he get the first down? He, he yeah, he had to get the first on three. It was on the seven. We're waiting for me and Brent can't see the chain. We're we're trying to have it to look up at the scoreboard. They haven't done it yet. Ball. The ball's on the two. No, he's got the score. It must have been right at the ten. Third and two. They're going to run it. Ganey up the middle. Touchdown. He'll get it in. Or was that Clayton that run it Clayton. in? That was Clayton run it in. So the Panthers answer with That's another in. big pass. That's, That's two, what the Panthers needed there, Allen. What, he's over 100 yards. Two catches, 100 <laughs> yards. Yep. 20-13. Big extra point for the Panthers here. Still in the first quarter, Alan. I know it, man. <laughs> Four. A lot of scoring so far. I love games like this, man, when they're close. You know, Charlton's sitting over there. We we dominated every play but two. Yep. And that Bell 11 has beaten us to death. And Clayton has put an extra point good. Clayton has put them right on time, too. So that's going to make the score 20 to 14. We'll sit right here, let Barry and scope around. We got a big crowd. There's nobody left in Homeville. Everybody in Homeville must be at, <laughs> at the Big Daddy's. At Big Daddy's. <laughs> Michael McCutcheon says, let's go Panthers. Roll red roll. He's also from DuPont. Yeah, DuPont representing the yes, Panthers. Sir. Good tonight. Let's see, right. let's see if Gregory. Uh, Send us some more scores here. Where's he at tonight? He's uh, making barbecue sauce. Making barbecue Richards. sauce. Yep. I hate. Got Dodge 15, Barry and 7, Lee 10, TCC 0. Lanier is playing tonight. Are they? 7 to 0 over Atkinson. Atkinson. That's a big game for Lanier. Yep. And for Atkinson, That's the winner, right. that'll be fourth. That's exactly right. You know. All right. <laughs> yeah, weather chasing. Yeah, they full. <laughs> Jamela Moorhead says, "Let's go Panthers." All right, appreciate One you the tuning city in. City Council member watching. Appreciate you tuning in, Jamela. Get down there! Oh, get it! It's rolling around. He scooped it up late. Good oh. covered by the Panthers. Boy, <laughs> that was man. Close. Coach Tyson liked that. Boy, they was hustling down the field. He let it hit. Uh, I guess they're trying to keep it away from uh, number two. two. Yeah. And that almost worked out perfect for the Panthers. All right. Alan, do you load up the box if you're the Panthers? I do. I mean. Dare them to throw the ball? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, you said how many times they've thrown it? 25 yeah. times? Yeah. That's not many this year. Um, I mean, you, you know, the downside of loading up. As if he beats you at the line of scrimmage, you're, you know, it's off to the races. But uh, come the Panthers, they're going to give it to Lily again outside. Good tackle. Oh, good job Robbins. by Robbins coming up from a corner to make a tackle. That's what you got to have. There, That's Adam. right. That corner's got to come, and he did. Good job by Robbins. He might have lost a yard or two on that one. Fountain getting a defensive play on the sideline from Coach Winston. Indians stay in a spread. This time, Lily will go to the left to King at quarterback. King's going to throw it now. Oh, Good rush. Oh, he got hit. He, oh, wow. boy, he's he had open. him out there. That was number three, Brent. That's uh, Kyler Williams. Oh, a Fountain got to him right yeah. as he released it. 
All right, good job by the Panther D. Third and nine now. That's a shot of the Indian band. They do a great job over here in Charlton County. My buddy Adam's up there doing the Charlton County Network somewhere. We'll get Barry to zoom in on him. He does a great job over here for Charlton County. Big down for the Indians here, it Brent. Is. Panthers need a hold right here. Panthers in a 50. Passing King again. roll out. He'll step up. He got it out. Uh -oh. oh, man, I thought he. He called it. He did. I don't know. I thought he was trying to throw it to the up back. Look right here, Brent. What, thought got number four, he yeah. does. That'll be a first down for the Indians. No, did he? No, it's fourth down. Did he come up short? Boy. Ooh. No, first down. First down, yeah. He got it. They don't. Coach Chase is wanting a measurement. Coach Tyson said, man, they spotted the ball, I think. Ooh. Whitecaps going to get a timeout. You have the right to get a measurement, don't you? I'm not sure on that. I, I would think you would. If it's close, yeah, you know. I mean, right. you know. 75 said no. Measure it. They are. Coach Tyson will get his way and he'll call for measurement. Look, that solves everything. That's right. Measure it. Let's see where it's at. Bring them out. Let's see who's right. I think he's going to have it by about the length of the football, it looks like, Brent. I may be wrong. Oh, my buddy Joe's back in town. Weather Chaser said, Joe and Lawton eating Big Daddy's, trying to see if he can eat the most wings. <laughs> All right. Set him up, Joe. Play walk in the floor. <laughs> They're short. Oh, he's short. Oh, let's see. Is it touching first oh, down? Oh, man, that boy. was close. That makes that poor salt. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Tice. Oh, and there's a flag. They're going to call that on Coach Tyson, I think, for being on the field. Let's see. So it'll be, it doesn't matter now. That'll be a penalty. So is that a warning, Brent? Hopefully so. We're still in the first quarter with nine seconds. Indians have it now, first and 10. They got it by the lace of the football. Must have been a warning there, Alan. Yeah, that football, it's cold. It had chill bumps on it. They got a first down. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter, so we'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. You're watching Creek Box TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, there's a full-blooded register. That's Brad's <laughs> nephew, Kevin, coming over here to see the ET. I think he, he pretty he likes to stay over in Homerville, <laughs> stay at the farm, Brad said. All right, Alan, I got plenty of scores right here. Get want. them out, baby. All right, let's see here. We got Cook 14, Fitzgerald 8, Wilcox 14, Hawkinsville 0, Pierce 14, Vidalia 0, Coffee 21, Greenbrier 0, Brook seven, Bacon zero, Ware seventeen, Statesboro seven. Bunch of good games going on games. tonight. All right, here come the Indians. They got a first down. Panthers made them earn it. 
We're just starting the second quarter. Charlton on top of the Panthers, 20 to 14. Brent, I never dreamed they'd be 34 points in the first quarter. <laughs> I, know. I figured they might be like 28, 21, the final, you know, one yeah. way or the other, you could pick it. There's a penalty. Uh, Illegal procedure. It looked yeah. like they backed the Indians up five. Boy, they're packed in tight here tonight. Got Antonio Jefferson watching from the great Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Washington. Man, that's right. That's Let's representing DuPont, too. You, you, you can put his name in the DuPont <laughs> crowd. Uh, great running back football player for the Panthers. There's Brian in there on a the tackle. Lily with a carry. He's going to get the penalty yards back plus a couple of more, I think. Man, have we? He's gotten positive yeah. yards every carry. He's he, averaging probably 12, yeah. 12 yards a carry. He's just, man, you can't catch him in a phone right. booth, brother. He's quick. He's small. It's hard to find. Panthers trying to keep Robbins in tight to help out with the run game. There's a good stop there. by the Panthers over there. Who's that got him hemmed up? That's uh, Number one. Raymond. Along with number that zero for yeah, the Panthers, Raymond. Like Raymond. Mm -hmm. Raymond and Magby on the stop. We'll bring up third and long. Good defense by the Panthers. Just starting the second quarter. Well, that first quarter lasted 40 minutes. Huh. <laughs> long one. be an NFL game yeah. before we get out of here. Ooh. Oh, did the Panthers jump? Nope, good job. They held back. King trying to get them to jump. Third and 11 for the Indians. Panthers showing pressure. King with the snap. Look, and here comes it. Look out. Fountain got him. He's going to flush him. Got good him. job. Raymond again on the. He got a sack there. Well, Fountain had him. You can't. He, he just beat his man. Good job by the Panther D. Finally going to make them punt. Adam. Finally, we're going to see how they can punt. Dodge 15, Barry and 7. Good Lord, Brooks. 7, Bacon. Nothing. Zero. Three minutes till halftime. Wow. Irwin must have beat up on Brooks yeah. pretty good. They bruised up in Alma. They'll bring that hammer after halftime. Yeah. Freeman will have a talk with him. Oh, boy. High punt, Brent. Pretty good punt. It's going to hit, bounce. Down to the 40-yard line. That's where the Panthers will take. Pretty good field position for the Panthers. Well, I'll tell you what. Bell has kept the Panthers in it. Mm -hmm. Clayton to Bell. Two big scores. Got them down the field. It's really bailed us out on. Jose Dog Williams. <laughs> one of the best yeah. quarterbacks to play at Clinch County. Absolutely. He could do it now. He could also bring the heat from safety. Yes, too. sir. He was a magician at quarterback. They'd call a play, and he'd pull it. Wouldn't give it. He wouldn't give it to Ganey or Martin. He'd pull it and keep it. <laughs> Come the Panthers. They're running that little... Trap back to the left. He's going to pick up three yards there. That's a pretty good run there by number 10 for the Panthers. That is Brown. Second down. Panthers can flop the field right here, get a couple of first downs anyway. Shout out to my sister Misty and my mom listening in tonight. Yes, sir. There goes Cl Clayton. Clayton, good he's job. Got he's got a first. All right. Got Dustin Henders watching from Camp Le Lejeune from North Carolina. All right, Dustin. Appreciate you tuning in. Hang around now. Halftime, we got Uncle One and Uncle Two going to be talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott said my big fat buddy is headed to the Dairy Queen. Uh, he said he should be there in about 10 minutes to watch the game. There's Kempo inside. Ooh. Oh, hard Ooh. lick in there, boy. 
Kipple got about a yard. Mm. That was one of them Xbox tackles. Yeah, that's exactly right. Allen got uh, Valdos to three, Cockwood zero. No, oh, man, that is a got good game. Cousin Jeff James watching from Lanier County saying, come on, Panthers. All right, man. Jeff and Doreen James. Let's go, Panthers, from Joy Lee and DuPont. There's some more DuPont. We know what everybody's doing in DuPont tonight. Clayton up the middle again. He's going to pick up two, maybe three. Tough yards there. They're going to have to get a big screen down there at the Holiday Market in DuPont where That's everybody can exactly get up right. there and watch it. <laughs> a couple of picnic tables out front. Got Ralph Jenkins watching from Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee. Third and five here, Alan. Big down for the Panthers. On the Indian 45, they got to get to the 40. Clayton with the snap. He's going to keep it again this time. Mm. They, they're sitting on that now. Yep. We got a helmet off. That could be a penalty. You got to stop participating when your helmet comes right. off. What does he say? What does Ralph Jenkins say? Watch from Duf the from Tallahassee, but from DuPont. Man, we bringing them there out the woodwork man, for tell DuPont. You what? Boy, they know where the Swanucci Creek is in DuPont uh, census now. Census numbers again. <laughs> hey, I ain't lying. Hey, Swanucci <laughs> Creek, we got it going on. Uh, all right, looks like the Panthers may be going for it here. You're right. They need four yards. Boy, I don't. Do you get it? It's a good call. Yeah. Timeout. Yeah, good job by Coach Tyson. Going to yeah. get the timeout. I, man, I would him on back. I'd like to see that uh, screen, though. Oh, man, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, the tunnel screen yeah. where he comes mm -hmm. in. Gets that line lineman out there blocking. Yes, sir. Let's see if they're going to go for it. That dodge and. Barry and tied up 15 all in Eastman. I mm, want to remind everybody here at halftime, we'll be getting with Jamie and Bill. Uh, see what everybody's saying in the bleachers. <laughs> Dustin Burt said, tell your sidekick, it's gator time tomorrow now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm with you, son. I'm with you. I'm going to pull. I'm going to be a gator no matter what happens tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be limping Sunday, but I'll be cheering tomorrow. Dustin Burt's dr uh, driving a red truck. Yeah, I, knows what, I, what man, is. that's that cheap red. <laughs> that's that cheap red. They was all that orange and blue. <laughs> Caleb Fender watching from Foley, Alabama. Let's go clinch. Well, we got a great crowd watching tonight, Brent. Everybody is it in DuPont. Roll, red, roll. Five miles still, my buddy Leon. I hope you got us some backstrap this afternoon. <laughs> uh, Clayton looking. Fourth down. He's scrambling going around. He's going to go deep again. He got two of them out there. Oh, oh, intercepted. oh, intercepted it. About the three. Come off Robin's fingertips. Yeah, and look, I can live with yeah, that. It's, it's like, like a, a punt. punt. Yeah. yeah. You know, man, but he had him out there. Clayton had to get rid of. He could have put a little bit more on that one, Brent. Yep. Uh, that's not a bad play. No, it's not. Uh, Robbins had it go through his fingertips. And the Indians will return it back out. What is that? The 32-yard line, Brent. Got our buddy Stanley Thrift tuning in tonight all right stanley glad to see him Absolutely. feeling a lot better yep. man doing good he was at the board meeting last night i heard and thanks going right. go back to work a little bit next week so glad he's doing well man all right here come the indians it's been the lily show here in the first half Indians in a spread. King will take the snap. He's going to throw it right across the middle. Oh. Number four, quick slant there. Yep. That's uh, Jamari Hamilton. Hamilton with the catch. I tell you, that quarterback's got a good arm. He does. He's tall. He is. What is he, about 6'4", he looks like, Brent. 
Got a with second one. He picked up. They picked up nine yards on that one. We'll give it to Lilly. Good job. Mm. Panthers got him. That's Ganey behind yep. the line. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Ganey coming in from his linebacker. That's how you play That's linebacker right. downhill. You don't wait for him to come to That's you. Right. Go get him. That's going to make it third and one now for the Indian. There's some Panther fans. Perfect football weather sure tonight. It's is. cool. It's not. Now, last week, I like to froze, son. <laughs> <laughs> we had to stand up by the generator exhaust to mm -hmm. warm up. All right, third and one for the Indians. High snap. Good job by King to get it down. Lily will get the first plus a couple more. Panthers made him earn that one, though, Brent. Clock running, 5-19 to play in the first half. Charlton on top, 20-14. to 14. Look at there. They got some more DuPont, DuPont, baby. Sabrina, Sabrina Edmonds is uh, giving a shout-out. Ed, uh, Edmonds Auto Detailing. Roll red, roll. I ain't lying. Representing the big city. That's right. Daryl down there. Daryl hook you up. He will. He'll hook you up. There's a little hitch Ooh. out number four. Robbins, good coverage. You'll get outside of him and pick up six, mm. seven yards. Robbins was in position, just yeah. didn't he that, couldn't hold on. That hitch has caused us a little bit of trouble tonight. Well, the chaser says all the deer hunters are coming in tonight, to Big Daddy. Right, in line. Deer season started last. How did you do last weekend? Did you see anything? Uh, I saw a little, a few. I didn't hunt too long. Had something else to go do. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't work. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Hey, Richard Self. There, there's cotton. Yeah, and there's my buddy Damon Chancey up there with the Hendrixes. That whole top row, we can hear them cheering from down here in the trailer. It's going to bring up third down. Third and about four, it looks like, Brent. Carly Murray says go Panthers. Yeah, their their offensive line is pretty big. Yeah, huh? they stout. Indians in a spread, Panthers in a 50. King with the snap. Ooh. Oh, he's going to get hit right. But he got him wide open. Number three had got behind Bell. Boy, he got ripped just a, the blink of a night. That wasn't Bell. That was Brown. Hmm. Boy, just the blink of an eye. It would have been a sack, Brent. Yep. Big play by the Indians. Here they are knocking on the door again. Got to give that quarterback credit. He stood in, knew the hit was and coming. And, man, if he hadn't have been so tall, yeah. it would have been a sack. You can you, – who's going to get the ball down here, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Number two. He's going to run right behind 45 over here, wherever he goes. There it is, Lily. Good job by the oh, Panther. Great up. job. Bryant nope. came up real quick. Bryant, great athlete for the Panthers. Second down now. No gain. No game. They've got to score. They can't get a first. Yeah, the ball's on the 14, so they got to get to the four-yard line to get a first. Clock running, 3.30 to play in the first half. Oh, he got it. Oh, oh no, kept King it. kept it. He faked burying. <laughs> <laughs> we got a flag. Boy, he pulled that. That was a great mm. fake. It was a little... Trap back the other way. It looked like Brent. Going to go against the illegal substitution, it looks like. That's a 10 yard penalty. Mm, boy, that hurts. Going to move it out. The ball on the 24 now. Second and 20 for the Indians. And my buddy Fred Tiller, another great <laughs> player for the Panthers. And let's right. open it up, boys. Fred said he calling some plays. He can call them now. Fred knows them. Yeah. 
Got a lot of experience. King oh. look good right. Oh, oh the Mavericks have to pick it That's off. Gainey. Gainey's got it. A bunch of blockers out. They're going to oh. get him from behind. <laughs> There's a turnover. The Panthers are Man. even it up now. They were going to the big tight end. They were. Time. They were. Gainey rumbling down to midfield. All that come from the pressure they had on the quarterback. Yeah. Man, he had a line of blockers in he front. He did, too. man. Quarterback. I think they're going to throw another flat sideline warning. Is that on Charlton? It may be they're pointing that way. See what the white cap says. Yep, on Charlton. One of the referees, usually when they trip and fall, mm -hmm. they're going to call it. That was my only job is to keep <laughs> Jim off the field. Well, if it's against, I don't know what the Panthers will still have the ball, the offense on the field. What are they backing it up for, though, Brent? I don't know what the, they're changing balls, but I thought he was on the opposite, the other side of the 50. Yeah, but the sideline call, apparently it wasn't against Charlton. It was against the Panthers. That's a 15-yard penalty. <laughs> Fred, Fred, he's nail on, baby. He got it. He knows what he's watching. Oh, oh boy, they got it. They got he him. somehow got it out. Got a few yards there. Got it to Brown. He did. He's going to pick up. Boy, he's mm, getting hit. Man, that defensive end. He was. All in his face. He's going to pick up three or four yards. Three yards, they said. Clock running. That's going to be second down. Uh, Irwin 21, early 12. Indians over in Irwin starting to pull away. Clayton looking. Panthers with trips up top. Three receivers, one down low. There goes Clayton. Clayton going to pick up the first. Look out. He's got room. 15 yards up the middle. He can make you miss, too. That's exactly right. Spread them out, and Clayton took off. You know, Brent, he's got to be in shape because he, you know, run like this and to throw the ball deep. Mm -hmm. He's well, done it all year. Yeah. Clock running. We're down to two minutes now. Panthers would love to score here and take the lead in at halftime. Indians get the ball to start the second half. Clayton again off tackle over here. He might have got a yard this time. I think the Panthers uh, realize the coaches that he does so much on the offense. That's why they don't play him on yeah, defense. Because, because he would be <laughs> yeah, he would good. be just as good on defense. That's right. Lawton's took it in, and he's, I gonna, guess, headed home from the Antioch Highway. He's going to watch it from the Antioch Highway. <laughs> Elijah Tiller says, let's go, Panthers. Panthers going to run a oh, jet got, sweep. Got in outside. Uh, couldn't get a great job, number two. That's Eddie Smith. It's hard to get around, number two. Clock running, running. 110. Panthers are down here about the 30. Brent, well, he got to get about the 25 to try it, you'd yeah. say. You don't want to get a block and a scoop and score. Panthers already had that happen. Got three timeouts. Yeah, you got three timeouts. Nobody, I think the Indians have used only one. Clock running. Panthers trying to get a first. Good job by Clayton to load the shoulder. Let's see if we get a timeout now. Should, it's going to be fourth down. No, they're no, moving the chain. First down. Clock will stop. Timeout, I think. They're going to. Clock not. is starting back 40 seconds, 39. Now it stops. The Charlton took a timeout. All right, with that, me and Brent's going to take a timeout and grab our breath. We'll be back in just a second. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. 
Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Brent James. Brent, we ain't had a good game in a long time, brother. <laughs> this has been exciting so far. Hey, sure. quick draw McCall. That's thick draw yeah. McCall anymore, ain't that quick? Yeah, he got that camouflage hat on. He's probably going hunting yeah. in the morning, too. I can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, the Panthers are in a spread, one back. That's Clayton in the backfield. Indians kind of, they loosened up the defense now. Mm -hmm. Clayton, look, going to throw a little hitch out to Bell. Bell will make one miss. He's fighting for yards. Got him, he got out him of out of bounds anyway. That'll stop the clock. 30 seconds. Panthers are in field goal range now, Brent. Boy, you'd love to get a score here and mm -hmm. go up 21-20 at the half. Was Charlton gets the ball first, right? Yes, sir. Makes yeah, they're going to get it first. You know, it doesn't matter what the score is at half. You're right. A little slant right down. The oh, boy, that was a hard lick. Mm, time out. Let's see if they're going to get it. Clock, they do. You're right. Inside mm. number one, a little slant right yeah. there. wide open, ain't it, Brent? Panther line starting to block. They yeah. Panthers should have two more timeouts. Is that right, Brent? Yeah. I can't Looks see like they one, don't have though. it on the clock. Got some scores here real quick, Alan. We'll get through them. Uh, Dublin 22, East Lawrence 0, Thomasville 14, Crisp 0, Fitzgerald 15, Cook 14. And Brad's running the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Got Lee 17, Thomas Central 14, Ware 31, Statesboro 7. Pierce 21, Vidalia 6, Telfair 13, Dooley 3, Boy. Irwin 14, Early 12. Uh-oh, here comes Early. Pierce 28, well, that's the update, 28 to 6 over Vidalia now. Brooks 21, Bacon 0. They woke, yeah, they, 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 they brought that hammer after halftime, didn't Richmond they? Richmond Hill 3, Lounge 0. Boy, boy, what in the world has happened to Lounge? Update, uh, Fitzgerald now 22, Cook 14. Mm, mm. <laughs> Fred watching, baby. He's into it. Here come the Panthers. Oh, Clayton, don't look take at that. that. Oh, boy, Time he out. took it. Panthers have one. What down is it? That's going to make it third down, I think, now. It's the last timeout, I believe. Yeah, you, Holding. Oh, us. Lord, that's going to back them up 10. Yeah, don't. Just keep you cool right here. Boy, boy, boy. Clayton had no time then. Mm -mm. Angel McCray, let's ride Panthers. Well, another great basketball Absolutely. player. One of the best to play. Still play him. College ball. Yes, sir. Playing good, too. All right, 17 seconds. Boy, this has All been right. a half a football. Mm -hmm. We've been playing at 65 minutes. And it's been nonstop wide open. Here we go. Clock is running. Throwing it deep. Throwing it deep. Trying to get the bail out oh, there. Oh, man. see that. I thought I seen a flag come in. Nope. He got there right as the ball got. Let's look, Brent. Oh, boy, that was mm. close. I could have went either way. That's going to make it fourth down. There's seven seconds Got left. Field goal here. It's fourth down, so unless they yeah, think that it's out of his it, range, that would be a you know a one possession. You can tie it up. Then it's twenty to fourteen. That would make it twenty to seventeen. Charlton, I think, called a timeout. We're going to stay right here. I want to remind everybody. I got the Hendricks brothers coming up in just a second. <laughs> oh, Fred on it tonight, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fred, great ball, ball player. Graduated from the University of Kentucky. Played the SEC. That's exactly played right. Played very well, too. Made Clinch County proud. He did. And was a great basketball player, too. He mm -hmm. could play some basketball. 
All right, Daniel, you can do with my phone. Got a question, Al? Yeah, man. Mm. Who is Weather Chaser? Oh, man. <laughs> That's all I've ever known. Storm Chaser and Weather Chaser. Uh, yeah. uh, man, I'll think of it in a minute. Somebody know that y'all text it in. Weather Chaser, what's your, what's your Christian name? Give us up. I know he's watching. All right. Well, no, the Panthers, they're going to go seven seconds. They're going to throw it in the end zone or try to get a first here. Clayton with the snap looking. Here comes the blitz. Number 40. Got it. You got to get rid of it. He's trying to, trying to just hold it and go down. That's the smart play. Don't give up nothing cheap. That's going to go to halftime. Clayton started to flip it back to the lineman. Good job. He's glad he didn't, but the Panthers will come away with no points. Uh, Daryl, that's it. I couldn't think of it, uh, Weather Chaser. Daryl Rolls, I'm sorry. Man, I knew you'd get it out there. I apologize, brother. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and I'm going to give Jamie a call, and we're going to see what's happening up in the bleachers from him and Bill. We'll be right back. Napa Auto Parts, 255 South Church Street. Homerville, Georgia, is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. You're watching Creekbox TV. And now it's time for the Hendrix Brothers Halftime Report. An analysis of the first half of play by Jamie and Bill. We're live. Uh, can you hear me, Jamie? What's going on, baby? Well, uh, good game. We come out and man, they hit us in the mouth and we made some mistakes, but the players just fired back and come back fighting. The coaches made some changes and they actually looking good. But man, we just had some crucial penalties and bad mistakes. Yeah, man, right there, the punt. That cost us seven right from the get-go. The bobbled, uh, lost it, and they blocked it and scooped and scored. But, man, Bell has a way of getting open, man. They can't cover him. They can't cover him. That, we've got to keep going to him. they got to find ways. Uh, Charlton's adapting. They have put another guy to cover him now, and we got to take advantage of that. they got to come out after halftime and stop them. They get the ball to start in the second half, and, if they come out and score, we in trouble. Well, man, we, me and Brent were talking with Lily. It seemed like he was averaging 15 yards a carry there to start the first half, but the Panther defense finally, I don't know what they did different, finally started hitting and tackling. Well, we brought the corners up. We was playing 15 yards deep. We brought them up. That was able, they, once they seen run, they could fly to it. That's right. Then we, start, we started blitzing, and that's why I told you, you got to plan until the game starts, till the first bullet fires, then you get hit in the mouth, you got to change. That's right. And the coaches has done a good job changing, and the players is responding. We just got to come up the second half and stop it. Well, man, right there, you were right there on the 50-yard line when they, they stretched out for the first down. The fans, yeah. we got loud. Was it a first down? We had a bad angle. What what, what did you see? Yeah, it, it, it was a first, man. It, it, it was. I mean, it's a first down. That's just, it's just how it is, you know. Well, brother, that you know, like Coach Dickerson said, what, what Toddy used to say, it doesn't matter what the score is at the half. It matters that's when it's right. at the end of the game. That's right. The kids is fighting, man. You got to be proud of them. They could have quit that first series, and we could be 
at McDonald's right now. <laughs> hey, what about my what about my doggy bag? Is it in the truck? Well, I'm gonna go after the game and get you an adult happy meal, Alan. Adult happy meal. I ain't you, baby. Adult happy meal. I'm getting you one of them. All right. Hey, I got Sophie with me. Pick her up a blizzard when you're over there. All right. Well, you know the ice cream machine's broke at McDonald's. Now. Oh man, dog gone. <laughs> All right, brother. Y'all keep cheering them on. We'll holler at you later. All right, All right man. Yeah, man. Bye-bye. You're watching Creekbox TV. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia.
Ladies and gentlemen, Superintendent Dr. Brent Dilley, Principal Danny McCoy, and the administration, faculty, and staff of Charleston County High School are proud to present for your halftime entertainment the 2022-2023 edition of the Charleston County High School Band of Pride. Under the field direction of drum major Victoria Corn, the band will be performing a salute to the musical world of jazz. Tonight's selections will include Birdland, Fever, Come Fly With Me, and Blues in the Night. <laughs> Drum Major Victoria Corn, is your band ready? The Chum County High School Band of Pride.
For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Alright everybody, welcome back to Creek Bay. My buddy Big Adam doing the Charlton County Sports Network over here for the Indians. Does a great job. Oh. Uh, and a good fella. We got to give a big shout out to the Big Red Barn in Homerville. Said woo dee woo and go Panthers. Hey. And who'd you say that was? Juke and John Edenfield. Juke and John Edenfield. All right. And the gang. <laughs> Brent, what's the stats look like, brother? All right, buddy. Uh, we got Clinch County with 60 uh, yards rushing. And uh, Clayton has a majority of those rushing yards. 16 carries for 54 yards. Uh, we have uh, Clayton has, has 124 passing yards. Of course, uh, oh, the majority Lord, of those yeah. went to Bell. He has Bell has three catches for 121 yards. Brown has one catch for three yards. 
So that's a total of 184 yards mm. for Clinch County. Uh, Charlton County has 12 rushes for 66 yards. Of course, Lily has a majority of those. Uh, he has 11 carries for 67 yards, two touchdowns. Um, quarterback King is 5 of 7 for 98 yards. So they have a total of 164 yards, Charlton County. Pretty even. Pretty even. Pretty even. Bale with them two big catches, he's averaging about, what you say, he's got 120 yards. That's 40, 40. yards a catch. That's right. Uh, Y'all heard from the Hendricks brother, Big Jamie. Uh, me and Brent were talking right here. This is, the, you know, Panthers, we got to kick the ball off. Uh and the Panthers are going to have to play defense here. Uh, Penalties are pretty even, Allen. Th actually, uh, both Clinch and Charlton has three each. Uh, Charlton for 20 yards and Clinch three penalties for 25 yards. Uh, however, we do have that one fumble yeah. that we lost. Uh, and we didn't get no points when we picked off the middle screen. That's you right. Know, that's, that's, uh, and that's the difference of the game. That's, mm -hmm. seven, that's a touchdown. That's where the P Panthers are trailing from right there, the turnover. That's exactly right. Shot of some of the Indian fans. All right, our guy's getting jealous, Alan. Our guy, they got a long way to go to catch up with Homer, <laughs> uh, to catch up with Dupont. Don't give all the love to Dupont. They uh, said. Uh, all right, now y'all got to start uh, giving us a shout out from our guy now. <laughs> Dupont's way ahead. We got. We ain't heard nothing out of Brookwood or Poplar Square, know. nowhere like that. Come on, our guy, I'm one of y'all. Dang, so figured you make that's microwave popcorn. <laughs> that's all they got. I got my M and M's. Thank you, baby. All right, did you? They let them out to come Thank to the you. game. Hey, I am playing. You got you you you. Okay, there you go. No, I got my peanut M and M's. Uh, man, it's been boy. This has been one of the best games we've had all year. Little Brooks, I would rather. Uh, be there watching the game with y'all. <laughs> hey, we appreciate you tuning in. The mayor of Homerville. That's right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Kayla Murray says go Panthers. We have got a crowd tuning in tonight. And Benny White's still up there in roll yeah. red roll. He got that text down, he doesn't he? He might be back on April Road. <laughs> he might have made it home by now. I don't know. Them cup, them big big glasses getting heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Hosey Williams says, come on, Panthers, roll red roll. That's Hosey Dog Williams. All right, Panthers getting ready to kick off. All right. Mm -hmm. Got Dwayne Noberry watching from Lake Park and Tristan. You was right. I told y'all. Yeah, man. Danny Edfield and everyone at Big Red Barn says go Panthers. Mm -hmm. Tracy Rivers says fight back Panther. He's from DuPont. Representing the Big D. Good kick by the Panthers all the way down inside the five. Good coverage. Was good job by the Panthers. Keep him hemmed up here. Get out about the 22. Uh, Randy and Judy Stalvey watching from Argyle. Let's go, Panthers. Lloyds and Fred White are watching from Lloyds House. That's All Harlan. right. Yes, sir, my buddy, little Lloyd. Hope he's doing good. There you go. Juke and John, Danny, and the gang at the Red Barn. Got it going on. That's right. Glad y'all tuning in. All right, King at quarterback and Lily at running back. Panthers are going to start out in a 50. Indians spread it out. They're they're passing gonna, yep, they are. You're oh, right. Going Look deep. out. He's going deep. Wheel route. Number four. Oh, Robbins almost took it away. Good coverage. Yep. He did that down, out, and up. Well, usually that wheel is wide mm. open. Good job by Robbins. Yep. Be second and ten for the Indians now. Hosea Swenson checking in. Let's go, Panthers. Let's 
Second and ten. This time they're going to give it to Lilly. He's going to try to Ooh. cut up. Mm. Got Mountain three, four, man. five, six yards. <laughs> Bryant playing to the whistle. <laughs> but He's tall. <laughs> number nine, he, he is on up there now. Justin Merriweather said, so let's go, Panther. Must have your paper and book. What? The, yeah, I do. That's yours, Brent. My bad. An Indian line up there blocking number 63, Tyler Harris. 73 in there blocking. That's a Lloyd, Colin Lloyd. He's 300 pounds mm -hmm. on that right side. Indians load up the backfield now, Brent. They're going to give it to Lilly, running behind number six. Good Did job by Fountain. It's going to be close. He is 45, said he got it. Let's see. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it, Brent. He needs about a half a yard. Oh, big play here. Big play. Zy Johnson tuning in. Let's go, Panthers. Another great basketball player for the That's Lady right. Panthers. Panthers sending the house. They're going to give oh, it to Lily and they got him behind the line. Great job, Bryant, in on the stop for the Panthers, number four. Or the Panthers brought the house. They there. did. He come untouched and got him behind the line. Good job by that Panther D. So here comes Clinch County now. They'll start on their own on the Indian, what's that, 33-yard 33 33. line. That's exactly right. Well, that's what you want to do if you come out on defense. Got Donna Beverly and Jonathan Martin watching from Argyle. Here come the Panthers. They're going to run it up the middle. He'll pick up a couple. Clayton will. You said he carried the ball, what, about 16 times 16 the first times. half. That's right. Which he's been doing that all year. Yeah. He's probably running 30 times a game, I'd say. Second and eight for the Panthers now. They got Robbins man-to-man -man out wide up top. They're going to run that, that trap. trap. Number one, he'll pick up three or four. That was Magby. Got Irwin 28, early 18. Irwin's starting to pull away a little bit. Julie, Julia Lacey says, way to go, Panthers. Got ben and Susan Booth watching in northern Illinois, or Indiana, I'm sorry. All Let's right. Go Panthers. Chili up there in Indiana. Third and five for the Panthers. They're going to run that jet. They give it he to Kempo. He corner. got around the corner. He, he got the first. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. Let's see. He's close. Man, good blocking by Robbins downfield, too. Patrick will step out of bounds about the seven-yard line is what they're saying. Boy, he hit the corner. He was good. Yep. He's got some speed. First and goal for the Panthers, trying to take the lead down here. They've trailed the whole game. Clayton's going to run up the middle hard and lick in there, Brent. He's going to fall forward yep. for a couple, though. Got some five, looks like. Good push in there by 77. That's Hunter blocking for the Panthers. Along with 56, that's Heron. Got Demarcus and Monica Hodges checking in. <laughs> hey, Fred, uh, yeah, he's hot. Oh, oh boy, he almost up. turned it turn up. up. Trying to get Go outside. Up. He got a great block. Did he get in? Oh, we couldn't see. Boy, I thought he was going to lose the too. ball. That's number 10. That's Brown on the carry. What yard line? Oh, oh man. man, they are, boy. Half yard line. Yeah, foot. He's a foot away. Corbett will come over the ball. It's first and goal for the Panthers. Clayton, no doubt, he's going to stick it up the gut, and he's going to get in. He got in. Let's see. Touchdown, Panthers. We're all tied up. 20 apiece now. 
Need this extra point, Alan. Boy, you do. Special teams. Panthers can take the, they hadn't been tied up since the kickoff. They have trailed since what, about a minute into the game? That's right. We're down one time at two possessions, 13 to nothing. Or, uh, <laughs> Fred Clayton sticking it out there, pouring it on, running hard. You're right, Tiller. Snap. Mm. Oh, did he get it? Did it go through? It he did. Got it. Panthers take their first lead of the night here in the third quarter with 8.14 to play. 21 20. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. All right, Brent, I got a thing. <laughs> I'm eating these peanuts. You have to talk. All right, we got a quick score here. Cockwit 10, Valdosta 3. Well, that's a good game. That's right. Got a shout-out also from Mike Williford over in Lakeland. There's a deep kick out of the back of the end zone. Good job there by go. Joshua. Mike Williford, Allen is a Gator fan. All right, man. He got some smarts. <laughs> got Austin Deloach watching from Jekyll Island. There's another Gator fan. That's right. Oh, another Gator. Man, he is he going to preach Sunday or is he, or is he trying to slip out the back door? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see if he responds to that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Colton Steedley says, well, let's go Panthers. And Grady. Roll red, roll. All right, here come the Indians now. King at quarterback, going to take the snap. Jet sweep to number four. Run, let in. Good job Good by the Panthers. Robbins cleans it up. He Who's did that. I mean, that was Bryant. Was it maybe. Bryant that come out? Who grabbed him first? Yeah, that was Bryant. Yeah, Bryant. I believe. Might have been Ganey. Good job by the Panther defense. Kyla Williams says, let's go Panthers. Keep up good work. <laughs> Fred, Fred said, Lil Austin's going to be too upset to preach. I hope not, Fred. <laughs> King with the snap. He's going to roll over this way, throw it out. Mm. He'll get it out there. Pretty catch number three. He's going to make one miss, two miss, three. <clears throat> Finally, from behind, wow. Fountain will come back from defensive end, hustling down the field to make the tackle. It's Kyler Williams for the Indians. Uh-oh, we got a flag. Was it holding? No, blocking the back. Oh, that'll back him up. That'll be a spot foul, won't it, Brent? Where the yep. block occurred, that's where the penalty uh, Got Diane Chambliss giving a shout out to the Panthers. Luella Cook watching from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and she's from Clinch County. Big Joe said, go Panthers. He left Big Daddy's on 84, and he's finally home. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, Josie. <laughs> Alex Jones says, go Panthers. The Moore boys are watching in Maynard. Yeah, all right. Good. Former Panther. Yes, sir. Some good ones. Scott Lassie said, I'm six minutes from Argyle. <laughs> He's at home watching him and his little buddy. What have we got now? Sideline Side warning. Um, is that a penalty? Yeah. that uh, They've done caught. They've done had one. I think you get one warning per game. 
Chelsea Gordon out at Mauser working. <laughs> yeah, Pulling watch it. Yeah, hey, come on. <laughs> get them get them up out there at Mauser. Yeah. Jock Jock Juan Queen, yeah. Rice watching in Atlanta, roll red roll. Another good football player for the Panthers. That's right. All right, here come the Indians. King looking. He's going to go deep, Brent. Oh, he's Wide open. open. Where, Where did he we? come from? Oh, man, was he on our sideline? Wow. Why? There was nobody around. Somehow it broke down. Mm. What in the world? He's the biggest <laughs> one on the field. <laughs> Six foot eight. Panthers are losing. I guess, this, was this the first time they've thrown him? Uh, yeah, that? first time. Boy, I thought he was going to step out of bounds. Oh, yeah. Man, so the Indians right back down the field and on top, 26-21. Stevenson in to try to extra point for the Indians. That was, what, a 60-yard pass, 60 or 70, yeah. Brent. There's a snap. Stevenson will come up, and he'll split the uprights. So now it's Charlton 27, Clinch 21. We'll take a break and be back in 30 seconds. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food, including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken, and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. <laughs> what, we got any more out there, Brent? Brent's got a mouthful of popcorn. I got a mouthful of M&M's. Austin replied back. He said, Luke Burtz won't show up. Church after upset in Jacksonville. <laughs> hey. oh, Luke Burtz should have something to say about that. Yes, sir. My buddy, Lukey. Well, back and forth, Brent, back and forth. I tell you what, this is a game. This has been a great one. Stevenson, good deep kick. It's going to go out of bounds. Let's see yeah. if the Panthers will probably make him kick it over, Brent. Better take it at, what, the 35? Yeah. With Bell, I bet he'll make him kick it. I would, yeah. Yep. Yep. Perfect. You're right. They're going to. Bell's not moving. Kyle Hendricks watching from S and B Auto Repair. Yeah, that big Kyle, great baseball player for the Panthers. Freddie Lawfully watching from Statesboro. All right, Freddie, good kid. I like old Freddie, That's another right. Panther. Daniel Ver Ver Burgle, Douglas, Georgia. Let's go Panthers. Melba Cobb. Let's go grandson Keegan. Gavin Guys predicting a. Big Georgia win tomorrow. It does. 55 to 10. It could be like that. <laughs> it could be whatever Georgia wants it to be, I'm afraid. I hope not. Gators will play good for a half. Anything can happen. That's right. You're not going? No. No, we're not going. We're going to watch it from, I ain't lying. Watch you, it from the house. You turn the channel when it's over. <laughs> There won't be a crowd to fight when I, I heard that. When it gets over. Stevenson's going to re-kick this time. He'll keep it in the middle of the field. Bale's got it. Good return. Oh, oh he kept up. his feet. Oh. He's at the 40. So all that, he's going to pick up five, five yards. That's right. Tough running in there. That was. So the Panthers will take over now. Here comes the offense, first and 10 at the 40-yard line. Oh, that's a big old joker right there. Yep. He had to play back in the day with the Indians. 
Justin there, Merriweather checking in from Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. All right, here come the Panthers. Gonna keep it. He'll pick up another first. Oh, he's block. still fighting. He's fighting. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Man, I tell you. Panthers wanting a flag. They was fighting on both sides. Boy, Clayton is tough. He is. I think he's constantly he, spinning and turning and twisting. He's going to be a little short, though, Brent. 27 21, 6 15 to play in the third. Panthers on the move. Clayton going to pull it and uh -oh. keep it again. He got the first. Flag. Illegal procedure, I'm afraid. Yep. That'll back the Panthers up five. <laughs> what Fred said. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you need to get an approval from Mayor Dumas to get that flat screen put in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Tony Spradley. All right, here come the Panthers now. Clayton with the last two carries. Ooh. Close again. He's got room. All right, he got the first down down the sideline, out about the 34 yard line. Tell you what, Alan, that was good blocking that there was. by Bell. Look at, he, yeah, Bell. He got about three there. Yeah, he did. He clogged it up, didn't he? Good blocking on that left side by the Panthers. There's some of the Charlton County fans. Panthers driving. We got a timeout, it looks like. I want to remind everybody to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Man, we do this for everybody that can't make it to the game. You can watch it. Uh, we got a lot of people that work and they're out of town in the military. We love being able to bring this to you live. Uh, you have people with handicaps situations in the house man and can't yep. get out the older grandparents that can't drive no more uh, uh we just uh love doing it for y'all and that's why we bring it with the grandchildren so y'all can get out and watch them but uh we need y'all to subscribe to our youtube channel please and then we got where 52 statesboro 7 coffee Boy. 41 greenbrier zero Boy, that's going to be a good game next week. Coffee and Ware mm -hmm. play next week. Come the Panthers. He's going to give it to him this time. He cuts up. Look out. Brent, number nine, will drag him down from behind. That was Brown. Brown again. Good block. And look at the blockers out front. Yeah. Oh, man. Good blocking by that Panther line. Big 77 I lead. got it. a flag, Alan. Oh, no, man. That was a 20-yard gain. Coach House is saying, man. Holding oh. against the Panthers. Boy. Man. That's, that's like a 40-yard penalty, mm. Brent. Brandon Richardson less says, let's go Panthers. Beth Walton appreciates Creek Box. Man. Harry Moyer, go Panthers, watching from Melbourne, Australia. All wow. right. We got Australia back watching. Good day, mate. Here come the <laughs> Panthers with that counter number two. Hey. That's hey. pretty good, eh? Well, I, I, man, I watch. I used to watch <laughs> them. What's the old man that catch them alligators? Crocodile. Dude, man, I didn't yeah. miss that. Lexi loved that show. I liked it too. <laughs> he was going to sneak up on him and grab him. and <laughs> hey, hey. I missed the old fella. He done a good job. Irwin 28, early 18, starting the fourth. Ethan Burkhardt wants to know if his peanuts are good, Alan. Man, they're good. They got chocolate on them, brother. You know they're good. Oh, come Patrick, the Panthers look Throw like it. they might have flinched. He's going deep again, Brent. Oh, oh he got it. He, he got come it. back he to the it. ball. How in the world? Three <laughs> defenders. Look, they got him covered. He just a jump. 
<laughs> Boy. <laughs> That's tough. Man, man that Ooh. is. Oh, he's up around 200 now, Brent. Bell is putting on a he highlight is. reel tonight. All season he's done it. Panthers up to the line quick. First down. Oh, boy. Charlton's got too many on the field, I Do believe. Do they? Well, yeah. the Panthers flinched. Coach Tyson's going to want too many on the field. Panthers jumped early. No, they look. Langston, is that Langston? No, yeah. that's, is it? Yeah. Twelve men. Boy, that's, no. Oh, man, that's, they're waving it off. Oh, man. There was actually two penalties, procedure against the Panthers and 12 uh, men, but I, uh, that's what we call it, the Rick Park, a do-over. Is there a timeout? Yeah, yeah Charlton. Charlton said, we've had enough. Let's take a break. Me and Brent will take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. Hey, everyone. This is Kid Dean, sales manager at Walker Jones Honda. Today, we're looking at the 22 Passport. Just inviting all of y'all out to come check out our inventory. Man, I'm walking Walker Jones. Right now at Walker Jones Honda, new 22s are in stock and ready to roll. Like this new 22 Honda Passport Trailsport all-wheel drive in stunning sonic gray pearl. Her 3.5 liter engine has power to spare and still gets 24 MPG on the highway. Come on down to Walker Jones Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Lifetime Honda, the power of dreams. Walker Jones Honda, Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at WalkerJonesHonda.com. All right, we're back. First down for the Panthers. Mm. There he is That's around the end again. Mm. He's so quick. Daniel's killing me and Brent. We go to a commercial and we get a mouthful and he comes right back. <laughs> Got to update. Barry in 29, Dodge 15. That's a shocker. Well, really, it's not because me and you talked about they've had a they got a good looking yeah, team. They do. Second and seven for the Panthers. They're knocking on the door, trying to take the lead back. Clayton's going to keep it this time. Blockers out front. Good cut. He's going to get in. Touchdown. Touchdown. He laid across. The ball come and hit the goal line. Let's see what they called. Man, that's got to be a touchdown. It's got to it. The ball hit. We recovered in Look, the zone. Look, it hit. It hit the line. It broke the plane. Oh, run it again. Daniel, you can't run it back to back. Panthers hurry to the line. Man. Wow. It's touching the goal line. Clayton will get it in this time. There's the snap. He's going to run it to the right. This time he's in. Touchdown. Panthers tied back up. 27 apiece now. Need that extra point, Alan. Need it. Need it, need it. It cost the Panthers last year. Got Lawana Maddox, Jesus and Jam says, go Panthers. Yes, sir. Boy, she does a great does. job with Jesus and Jam. We Thanks. sure do appreciate her and her family. Started the after-school program there. So yeah, man, they do a lot. To, to Jesus and Jam. Irwin, 35, early 18. Mm. Irwin's starting to lean on them now. Joshua in trying to put the Panthers back on top. Oh, they Baha snap. Off sides. Well, Brent, you move it half the distance. Do you think about going for two or do you kick it? Wow, that's a good good question. You there, go down Rob. to the one and a half. You know, always worry about that number nine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Run away I'm from trying him. Trying to kick it. Yeah, I know it. He's come close and almost tipped it every time. Robbins had a high snap on that one. Good job by Clayton to get it down. Here we go. Robbins will snap it. Good job this time. Clayton will put it down. Good high kick. Did it stay inside? That's it good. did. Panthers back on top. 28 27, 415 to play in the third. We'll be back in 30 seconds. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy. 
Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service all right, we're back here. Panthers back on top, 28-27. Here come the Indians now. He'll get it out of three. Good cover. Bryant. Bryant down the field for the Panthers on the tackle. Well, both teams putting on a highlight reel tonight. They sure are. Back and forth for sure. A shout out from Cole Green. Rick Hendricks, son-in-law, just want to tell y'all that Cole and Lacey Green are watching from Camp Le June. Camp Le June, Le yeah. Le June, North Carolina. Go Panthers All and right. go Dogs. Man, we appreciate him and his family. All right, here come the Indians now. Trip King, right. I'm telling you. King, they're going to throw it again. Ooh. Oh, down the middle. Oh, flag. boy. What a flag. Was I, 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 he ran to the concession stand and got a drink, come back and threw the flag. Man. That was one of them you turned around and you talked him into that one. Mm -hmm. Pass interference against the Panthers. And Charlton's almost gone to passing every down i'm telling you man they really that, didn't expect that tonight no coming into the game we thought that we'd just see number two all night and the way he started out brent yeah uh, panthers made an adjustment and then charlton made an adjustment oh well, and you know they may be waiting to get the fourth quarter and then That's cut right. him loose yeah. you know First and 10 for the Indians. Panthers on top, 28-27. Indians trying to take it back. Panthers in a 50. Charlton spread. Going to be another pass. King looking. He's going to throw an out. Good coverage there by Magby. Good job by the Panthers secondary. Shontavia Cole says, okay, Clinch. That'll stop the clock again. 3.54 to play in the third. Panther fans are starting to crank it up, That's Brent. Right. Needing a big stop here by the defense. King again will throw it. This quick time pass. it was a quick little hitch Panthers. out there. Number five, the Panthers had him behind the line, mm. but good job. Finally, who was that? Number one? No, number zero Raymond. for the Panthers. Raymond will make the tackle. Casey Crosby watching from Argyle. Man, Argyle. Argyle's oh, cranking man, it up a little what, bit now. Yeah. Trying to outdo yeah, DuPont. They, they, man, they bringing up the rear when it comes to DuPont <laughs> now. <laughs> Come on now. All right, big third down play here for the Indians. Panthers need a stop. King's going to roll. Mm. He's going to throw that little out, and it's going to be short. Rush got to him, Allen. It Affected did. His throw there. Man, and you see what side. I wouldn't roll the 19 side to begin with. Yeah. Panthers had a good blitz then, though. Mm -hmm. Wendell right. Cobb says we've got to tackle better on the hitches. There's right. another. that. That's right. DuPont, is that represent Cobb? That's some of them Cobbs from He's DuPont. Panthers. <laughs> yeah, that was, man, man, a great fullback. Yeah, that's right. Fourth down for the Indians. It's 
Stevenson, good job getting the snap up. What we have? Uh, Illegal, false yep, false start. I tell you what, if the Panthers, Steven takes an extra step, it looks like on his punt. Yeah, yeah, a little slow. Panthers bring the house. They might could get a piece of that one. He's done a good job to scoop the ball up for the Indians. Fourth and 14, the Indians going to punt. There's a snap. Stevens will jump up and get it. He'll get it off. Good punt. Tuck oh, fields it. he did. Good job by Robin. Make two miss. Look out. He's going to hit the sideline. Oh, he <laughs> lost his foot. Good return there by Robbins. Man, that saved the Panthers about 25 yards, Brent. <laughs> by not letting it roll. Good job That's by right. Tucker. Xavier Anderson said, let's go. Ja'Shawn Raymond from Grandma and Dad. Brandon Richardson said, everybody's not from DuPont, Coach. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, Edwin Walker says, go Panthers. Oh, roll right. right. Edwin, good fella. All right, here come the Panthers. They're going to run that jet, trying oh, to get outside. Man, yeah, great block, and he's going to cut it up. He hits the outside man. all the way down to the 40. Did you Brent. see that block by Ganey? Man, it was. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ganey <laughs> laid the wood down. <laughs> hey. Woo. Panthers will move the change. Henderson Deer processing. Go Panthers from DuPont. There you go. Renita Collins says, Go Panthers. Clifford Alexander says, keep the lights on and champ, champ Bailey Field tonight, Panthers. <laughs> hey. That's the goal. Clayton going to run off tackle. Look there out. He'll bounce outside. Five, ten yards. Panthers lead 28-27. They're trying to add to it, Britt. Kyle Hendricks wants us to keep running the ball. They can't stop it. Dexter Foster says, let's go, Clint. Yeah, oh, Dexter, boy, there's another great football That's player right. for the Panthers. Colton great Stigley job. watching from Argyle. Argyle, lighting it up. Hey, man, I tell you what. Coach Tyson saying it's first down. The referee on this side says it's first down. God, don't. Calm down. <laughs> Oh, they're not going to move the chain. I don't understand that. The referee on the chain side said it's first down, but let's see if they can get it here. Clayton will get it this time. Cut it up. Oh, boy. I thought they might have got a face mask. Now it's a first down. Wow. Panthers moving the chain. Oh, Marcus, he was a great football That's player. Right. Tiger. A couple scores, Lounge 7, Richmond Hill 3. Uh-oh. Vikings trying to come back and get a win. Clock running. 145 to play in the third. Here come he the Panthers. Room. He's getting around the end again, He's Brent. He's got a turn. Oh. Tell you what, they're doing a good job one, getting yeah. outside now, Brent. Good Panthers blocking running. out That's there by right. the receivers, man. Receivers, fullback. Oh, we got a flag holding. Oh, my geez. Mm, mm. I hear Jamie and Bill up there. <laughs> Woo. Boy, that's going to turn about a. 15-yard play, and that's about a 30-yard penalty. Yep. Crystal Hodges giving a shout-out to Panthers from Cutting Loop crew. There's Cutting Loop. Jaden Reeves, let's go Panthers. Robert Ganey moved that chain. 
<laughs> Clayton going to mm. keep it, pull it this time. Nowhere to go. Wow. Good job by the Indian. 65 up in the middle. That is James Lovett. We might get one more playoff Brent here in the third quarter. What a game it's been. It's been from right from the beginning to right now, it's been all excitement. Yep. Looking like another great finish. Yes, sir. It always clinch. is. Yep. What down is it, Brent? Second, Clayton gonna take it. There's a little hitch out to Bale. Oh. Bale will make one miss. Look out. Cutting up, he got the first Man, sprint. I tell you what, that was that was, that was an athletic him. play. Look, right they there. had him back. Number uh. two did. He made him miss. <laughs> Woo! Just he's, cut him out. He's something special, Alan. I'm there telling you, he's just a junior. Yep. He's really come on here in the last several games. And that's going to be it. The end of the third quarter of the Panthers. Have taken the lead and trying to take control here in the Swamp War. Panther lead 28-27. We'll be back in 30 seconds. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Brent James, and we're here, Brent, the fourth quarter. Yep. Panthers are driving, looking to add to their lead. Inside the 10, it's first and no, no, they're what, on the 17 yard line. Yeah. Well, I got Ann Morris watching tonight. All right. Jaden Reed says we can't be stopped. Clayton looking over the offense. He's going to take the snap. They're going to give it back. Oh, boy, man. they were waiting on that. Mm. Good lick there. That's number Lily. Yeah, Lily, number two. Irwin 42, early 18 with three minutes left in the fourth. Turn out the lights. Party's over over yonder in Osceola. Can start wrapping the hamburgers up to hand out after the game. <laughs> All right, we got Fargo watching, Alan. Fargo. Clayton looking over the defense. Oh, oh illegal procedure. Is that what he's calling, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Got Marty and Lisa watching from Argyle. Let's go, Oh, we have Argyle's catching up That's now. Right. I believe we about heard from everybody there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't many left, are they? Uh. Where one fifty-nine to seven. That sets up a big game. Yep. They're undefeated and ranked number one, Ware County. There's the snap. Clayton going to take it right up the middle. He'll pick He's up. driving. Continuing to Five, move Five, six, the pile. seven. They'll blow it dead now, but he's going to pick up six or seven, Brent. Yeah. Got half of it back. 
Lanier, 37, Atkinson, 13. Mm, the Bulldogs from Lanier cranking it up. Yep. Dalen Spivey checking in from Ella J. B.J. Richardson, another good football player for the Panthers from Atlanta. Panthers needing to score here. They're going to run a jet. Oh, man. Oh, Patrick That's... couldn't get outside yeah. then. Big. The big guy. Yep. He got a wingspan about 12 feet. That's Williams. He's athletic, too. Boy, man. he On is in basketball, basketball, basketball yeah. man. And he's just a sophomore, sophomore. Brent. He's going to be around for a while. It's like we're going to try a field goal here. What would this be? They're going to be balls on the 21. 21. They're going to put it down on 25 to 6 percent. That'd be a 38 yarder, Brent. Joshua can do it. I've seen him warm up. Robin, good snap. They'll put it down. Oh, it. and there it That's is. Nine. Big guy going to get it. Number nine. They'll scoop it up. You've talked about it earlier. Mm -hmm. He's been all around it. It's just. Man, you can, he's six foot eight. Yep. You know, when he jumping, it's about 15 foot. Mm. So it'll leave the score 28-21. Panthers on top, 9-33 to play in the game. Got Ronnie and Dalton Sheffield watching from Hilliard, Florida, down the road. All right. Robert Vince, what about Happyville? Yeah, right man, that? there's Happyville. Bring it <laughs> on in. Miss Johnson says, we need this TD. We did, darling. She's watching it. Defense step up here. Come to Indian. There's Lily with a hard run. Frankie said, me and you get some good sleep tonight as hard as we work. And you right about that. <laughs> Alex Jones woke up from that nap. Hadn't yeah, he? Alex Jones said, uh, "Go Panthers." Mmm. Good Boy, penetration that, that by was. the Panthers. Bryant, Green, Raymond, all in for the tackle. I tell you what, the defense. <laughs> Halftime, Coach Winston, whatever adjustment he made, mm -hmm. has worked, Brent. You take that one busted coverage that they had to number nine, that's about all the Panthers have allowed. C.J. Gwynn, let's ride, Clinch. Another good lineman for the Panthers. Kadarius Cleveland, let's hold him, Clinch. That was a good ball player, too, old Kadarius. It's a pass. Oh, he's going to... The big Got guy him. again, Robbins will bulldog him to the dirt. He looked like a like a cowboy trying to rope yeah. him down. <laughs> Them two will see each other in basketball season. <laughs> Pretty soon. Christian Prescott watch from North Carolina. Yeah, another good ball player for the Panthers. Got Gary checking in from Happyville. There's Happyville. They're cranking it up. A little competition going tonight. I'm huh? telling you, man, we're going to start keeping score. DuPont's double digit ahead, though, I'm afraid. <laughs> There's Lily. Oh, he got tripped up. He'll fall forward. He's going to pick up four or five. Brent, I think that's what Charlton's done. They've waited to get to the fourth mm -hmm. quarter, and they're going to try to feed it to Lily. And grind some yardage out and work the clock. Charlton looks a little confused right yeah. here. There's the snap. They're going to give it to Lily again. Same play off to the right side. He'll bounce it, find the sideline. Oh, he stayed inbound another five yards. He's going to pick up a first, Brent. Boy, he's quick. He sure is. So here come the Indians. They're across midfield now. They're on the Panthers' side. All the way down to the 36-yard line of clinches. 
Panthers want a timeout, Brent. That's a good timeout yeah. there. We'll take one with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. There's some of the Panther fans cheering on Clinch. Need a stop. There's Lily. Oh, oh that's there's Fountain, Fountain going to hit him behind the line. That'll be a three yard loss. Yeah, you got to be careful running at the inside. Good job. That wasn't Lily. That no, was... that wasn't Lily. Missed a block on mm -hmm. Fountain. They did. Got old Dozier watching from Waycross. Let's go, Clinch. Another good ball player for the Panthers. They lost three, second and 13 for the Indians. 6.45 to play, clock running. Going deep. Going deep, good oh, coverage good by coverage. the Panthers. Great job. Is that Magby? That was, Magby had him locked down. Middle of the field. Third and 13. Maybe. Another passing down. Got Roger and Donna Metz watching from Columbus. I think they're there, they're there for the softball. All right, Roger. Good football player, basketball, and good coach here at Clinch <clears throat> County for years. That Lily going to slip up. Good job by Robbins, tripped him up. That was third down, wasn't it? Yeah, so this will be fourth down. It looks like the Indians will probably go for it here. Kind of in the middle of no man's land. Fourth and seven. Look for number nine. Yep, you're right. Coming across the middle. That's what I would do, Brent. He's six foot eight. You got to make sure where he's at. We don't have nobody tall like him to cover, really. And they got him over here on the right as a tight end. I think we got bail on him. I would run an in go with Fountain. They're gonna have to call Time a timeout. Out. Yeah, fit to be a delay of game. Good job, that Panther defense get a stop here, Brent. There's 550, still a lot of football left yep. to play. But if the Panthers can hold them here and get a couple first downs, they can flop the field a little bit. Man, there's Langston Hendricks. He does a great job. Gonna make a great coach one day. Them boys, he, he like his daddy, he gets them fired up. That's his daddy, Jamie, that we mm -hmm. talked to on the phone. Got Bryce Denmark watching from Thomasville, Georgia. All right, Bryce. We appreciate you watching, buddy. Got Barry and up 29-23 on Dodge. They can hold it on. Gregor says that Brooks lost their starting quarterback last week. Oh, uh, no wonder they were struggling. for how long, but, yeah, that would. Man, Thomasville Central beat Lee County. Or is leading Lee 39-24. Good Lord. I'm going to tell you what. They got a team now. Thomas County yeah. Central does. Their coach, you know, left Cockwood and went to yeah. Thomas Central. All right. 
Money down right here for the Panthers. Fourth and seven. King looking. Here comes the heat. He going to throw oh! it. Oh, he caught it. Great he job there, number three. Oh, Magby thought he was behind him. There wasn't nothing he could do. It was a good catch. He yeah. held on to it. Mm. Here come the Indians knocking on the door. Getting late. I think they can make it. Stevens can kick it here for the Indians now. They're in field goal range now. First and 10, look for Lilly to get it, and there he does. He's got it, good job. Oh, the Panthers had him. He's still gonna pop through there and pick up a couple, Brent. That getting up off the bottom for the Panthers. That's number nine, Ganey on the stop. The Panthers will be open next week. Me and Brent won't be here next Friday. Y'all can go catch probably the Cook, where, or not the Cook, the Coffee Ware County That's game right. will be a good one to catch next week. Got second and eight here. Indians He's got passing. King going to oh. throw it. Got him in the car. Oh, man. boy, Bryant. I thought Ooh. he broke on it. Was going to get it, Brent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job by Magby. That was Magby. Boy, he turned. Oh, man, yeah. If like, it would have been a good throw, he yeah, would have picked it yeah. off. All right, third and eight, Alan. Another big down. Mm, boy, you're going to have to make a big decision right here. If you don't get it, you're going to try to kick it. That's right. Here we go, third and eight. Panthers need a stop. They're gonna give it to Lily. That means they're gonna run four downs. Lily, oh, he's driving the ball. He's gonna be close, Brent. He needed eight. Let's see, he's got five, six, seven. He got it. Mm, hard running in there. No, they're gonna say he's short by about a yard, I think, Brent. I can't see somebody texting. Yep, fourth and one. Mm. Wow, big play right here. This could be the ball game yeah. right here. Brent, do you kick it or you go for it here, man? What you gonna do? Looks like they're going for it. <laughs> with Lily, yeah, I would go with I mean, it too. I mean, you got. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, well, he's oh, going to walk kept in. It. He yeah. kept it. He, he hadn't done it, it all yeah. night. That was wide yeah. open, Brent. Great play call. Panther, I mean, they had Lily stopped. Yep. Panther defense had stopped Lily, but King kept it and walks in the end zone. Boy, it gets loud now. There's the lights on and off. 33-28 Indians on top now. Boy, that was a pretty play. Yeah, it was. Panthers had loaded up and had stopped Lily a yard behind the line, but King pulls it like a magician and runs in the back door. I'm Charlton. I, I go for two. I think that's what they're going to do here, Brent. A lot yeah. of time left. There's 3.39 to play. Plenty of time. Plenty of football left for the Panthers. Got my nephew Tripp and... Rick Corbett watching from Shiloh. Roll red roll. All right, there's Shiloh. All right, here come the Indians trying to get two points. Oh, he's, oh, he's wide open. Oh, and he missed it. Hey, Brent, Ooh. he was wide open, but it was under. He just underthrew it. Mm, boy, God, that helped the Panthers. All right, Charlton 33, Clinch 28. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. 
So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, we're back. Big Here return, on, Alan, big return. Got to have it, you're right. Panthers got to have a touchdown now. Bell with the return about the 10. Mm. He's trying to get outside, flag. oh, we got a flag, and they got him wrapped up. And there's another flag, hang on. We might have two penalties here. Bale's slow to get up. I think they're going to offset what the referee said. Would I kick it again? Let's see. Trying to find out what the play is. A block in the back by the Panthers. Horse, horse collar. collar. Well, block in the back's 10 yards. Horse collar's 15, isn't it, Brent? Indian crowd, they getting loud over there wanting the defense to make a stand. So what? I guess they're just going to spot it and play where it's at, Brent. Looks like it. Ball's on the 20-yard line. No, the 19-yard line. First and 10. 3.32 to play in the game. Charlton 33, clinch 28. Clayton it has up. it. He's going to try to go nowhere to go. The Indians got him smothered at the line of scrimmage. They're waiting on that, Brent. Both teams are tied. 30 wins for the Panthers, 30 wins for the Indians, and one tie. So the winner tonight not only will probably win the region championship, but they'll take the lead in the series. No gain for the Panthers. Second and 10 now. Got to have some positive yards here. Yep. Clayton looking, here comes the rush. He's gonna get it off. Down the middle, oh, man. in and out. Boy, he had it. Magby had it, bounced off his fingertips. Good throw. Oh, I don't know, did Seven tip it for Charlton? He might've got a piece of it. Mm, Coach Winston will run out. Got a cramp. Magby's got a cramp. Charlton trainers will come over and check on him also. Well, Brent, these two teams are about as even as you can get, it yeah. looks like. You're right. They're, uh, they're pretty even. It's going to come down to the last three minutes here. Panthers are going to have a third and ten. You know, if you don't get it, you got to punt here. I mean. Yeah, with three t or two timeouts. You got two timeouts. Some of the Charlton fans packed in tied on the home side. Got Susan Tyner and Anthony Baker watching from Travisville. Let's Travisville. The Swamp War, and it's been one. Last three years, they've been some great football play. The Indians have come out on top the last couple of years. Panthers trying to steal one tonight. They got to get something here. Hi, right, the Indians are getting loud over there from Folkestone. Third down and 10 for the Panthers. Big down here. Clayton looking, saying something. 
Oh, not. There's the snap. Clayton looking. Here comes the rush. He's looking. He's going to get rid of it. Good oh, catch. good catch. You did get it, too. It's going to be close. Let's see where they mark the ball. Forward progress. Yeah, look, that was number was first down. two. That's Eddie Smith. What a catch. Big catch for the Panthers. That keeps the drive alive. 2.30 to play. Come on, we got to get. Yep. Got to go, got to go. Clock running. Got to go. Two twenty to play in the game. Clayton with the snap. Look, and here comes the blitz. The Indians, he's going to go deep. He's open. Oh, Bell makes a catch with the end he got it. He's got it. He got the ball and the catch. You're right, Brent. Look at there. What a catch by Bell. One-handed out of bounds. Right at the 50-yard line. That'll quieten the crowd over there on the Indian side. Clock is running again. He's over 200 now. Got oh, to be yeah, Brent. Absolutely. Here come the Panther, <laughs> Richard Self, and the Hendrick brothers up there hollering. Clayton rolling out. He's going to get it, throws it underneath to, oh, oh boy. It's Kimple. Kimple with a great catch. Gotta He'll turn it up. Line. You got to. That's going to be about a three yard gain. Now he's going to give him four. Got to go. Clock running, 135. <laughs> 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 Clock running 130. 125. There's the snap. Clayton going to run up the middle. Going to lead. Yeah, you got to go. He didn't get the first, so his clock's still going to run. You got to go. 114, 13, 12, 10. You got to go. You got to go. <laughs> clock running. You got to go. One on. minute to play. The clock is running. Now they have it. There's a snap. Going to try to run. Get, get the up. first down to stop the clock. And he does. Down to the 35. But there's only 50 seconds to play now. The yeah. clock will start back now when they spot it. Got to be lined up and ready. Clock's running. Clock is running. We're at 45 seconds now. Clayton with the snap. Good blocking by the oh. line. He got him out there with a step. Safety coming to go. Oh, Bell almost oh, caught man. it. Oh, man. Knocked him in the fence. They got a deep safety helping now across the top. Uh. Brent, we're running out of time. There's are. 37 seconds to play. You're on the 35-yard line. <laughs> Got to. Fred, still watching. You still with us, buddy. We with you. They are. They playing him deep over the. Well, you got to. He made so many. You can get, man, go to the middle of the field. Brent, that'll stop the clock. If you go 10 yards. Mm -hmm. We got two timeouts. Yeah, you got. running again. Oh, why is it running again? Before the snap, oh, you can't take a sack. He's got room. No, oh, he, he's got, you go. Oh, oh, get man. rid of it. Throw it. He does. He's going to throw it away. Boy, I think he should have went out of yeah. bounds. He should have just run and got the. I think Mike could have got the first, Brent. 20 seconds to play now. Panthers are on the 40-yard line. 33-28, Charlton on top. What down is it, Brent? Is it? All right, Clayton looking over the defense. Indians are going to send them this time, Brent. They're sending six. Oh, underneath. Oh, Don't catch out, it. Oh, out, you got to call out. a timeout. Oh, you really don't want to catch that one, man. Not falling to the ground. But it's instincts, you know. Yeah. I mean, you're going to try to catch it. 
Panthers get a timeout, 14 seconds to play. Brent, is it fourth down now? I don't know I if it's third tell. or fourth, I can't tell. What down is it, Daniel? Third down. So, Brent, you got to call what? Two or three plays? <laughs> hey, hey. Mm. Only in America. Mm. He knows. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, Alan, you got time to get part of it, call timeout, and. Yeah, you got one more timeout, so you can go anywhere, but you yeah. got to go down. Right. You got to go down the field. You can't go sideline to sideline. You, I mean, you can use the middle of the field, you know. Yeah. This Look, play. they know where Bale's at. Yeah. All right, Clayton looking it over. Panthers got to go down the field. They're on the 40. Looking, 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 looking. Clayton's going to scramble. Looking, he knows where to go. Time out. Time out. This will be the one. last one if you got one. Then they do. This will be the last time out. This will be the last play of the game, folks. It's fourth down with five seconds to play. And I'm sure they're going to put nine back in. Oh, in yeah. Zone. I would rush two people. Well, Brent, this is it. What you do? You put everybody on one side and throw it? I think so. I mean, you got to. <laughs> you probably go, got to go in Bell's direction, but they're certainly it's going to be expecting you know, it. The, so. the hook and ladder. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, if you catch he's it, you get tackled. Time back here. Yeah, you've got to have time to get it to the end zone. Right. Clayton can get it to the end zone right. from here. I mean, there's no problem there. But you've got to tell everybody, if you catch it and you start to get tackled, pitch Left. the ball, yeah. get rid of it. <laughs> Staying in blocking. He's going to throw it deep downfield, downfield. It's going to go out of bounds. bounds. He getting not have enough room. And that's going to do it. Charlton County will win the Swamp War 33 to 28 on the home field. What a game. Now, Brent, it, it ain't going to surprise me one bit if these two teams don't see each other down the road. That's right. Uh, great game. Panthers come in and, you know, the home field advantage really played a big favor for Charlton. That's They're right. about when you're even, yeah. you know, to, to get the does. other way in clinch. But Indians wanted it just a little bit more All tonight. Right. Uh, great game. Great game, man. This is all, I mean, this is how they should be. Yep. Panthers uh, will be off next week. Charlton does have to play Lanier. Uh, even that's if right. they were to lose, they'd still even win. Even if they the lose, top they'll breaker. win. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be the region champion yep. with a victory tonight. That's right. Panthers will finish second, so they'll get a playoff game at home no matter what. Uh, you know, we'll start talking about the bracket week you know next week uh boy but what a game uh you hate to see a loser when two teams play like this uh it come down uh turnovers really wasn't they offset but that's that right. one turnover the panthers got no points that's right on our turnover and charlton got, got seven that's and right. that's the difference of the game that's well, six points so uh Man, congratulations to the Indians. They do a great job over here. Hey, if you're going to lose, this is the last week you can lose, That's Brent. Right. <laughs> hey, sometimes uh, get it, it out of the way this time. Sometimes it, it, it helps you to lose going into the playoffs. It right. gets your attention. And uh, Bale played a great game. All the Panthers played good. Come up a little short. Yep. Well, Brent, get us on out of here, brother. All right. Appreciate it. Everybody have a good evening, and we'll see you next time.